Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Betty Payne. This is the day that many of you have been waiting for. Kingsport's Fun Fest 89 officially begins today. The 10-day festival has become a major summertime event in the Model City, and at this hour, opening ceremonies are getting underway in downtown Kingsport. Our John Cleary is standing by now on Broad Street. John, what can you tell us is happening down there? Betty, there's a lot of activity going on right now, and there's hundreds of folks ba gathered back behind us, and we're just about a minute away from the official Mardi Gras kickoff, which means that Fun Fest 89 is officially underway. As you can tell, there's been a lot of music, also a lot of activity across from the Information Center at Glen Bruce Park. That's where you can find out about all of today's activities. There are a lot of activities for children, including bee throw contests throughout the hour, and also a children's costume contest and plenty of food. Now back to you, Betty. Okay, John, and of course, Newswatch will have a complete report of Fun Fest activities today at 5.30 on Newswatch First Edition as we go live on the road from Mardi Gras. And join us later this evening for live coverage of the Fun Fest Parade beginning at 7 p.m. And again later tonight when Newswatch Nightside goes on the road live from the Fun Fest Midnight 5-Miler Road Race at 11 o'clock. We hope you'll join us. Zach's Furniture. Before it's all over. Very definitely. You see, it was after he returned to the garden that he discovered that three of his apostles were missing. Well, don't look at me. I didn't take him. <laughs> on Entertainment Tonight at 6, the Cotton Club murders. Next is Newswatch Live from Funfest on Tremendous WKPT TV 19. Chevy really wanted to make a better compact pickup, they should have built the S10 with more horsepower and torque. They should have included more standard features. They should have given the S10 greater payload capacity. Because if the S10 had all this, it would be a Ford Ranger, America's best-selling compact pickup. Plus, buy a Ranger now and you can choose between low financing or cash back. And that's before you make your best deal. If you really want a better compact pickup, then you should have a Ford Ranger. Get one now at your best quality Ford dealer. They're remodeling at Thorpe & Company. Some excess inventory has to go like these high-efficient and standard gas furnaces priced near cost. You will never get a special like this again at Thorpe & Company, Johnson City. Hello, Andy. Well, it's just terrible. Anderson Ford is selling new cars and trucks at ridiculous prices. Well, just look. This 1989 Escort Pony with these standard features is just $64.95. The 89 Tempo with air, tilt wheel, AM FM stereo, and power door locks for just $92.88. Or the new Ford Ranger S, the number one selling compact truck in America for only $72.99. These prices good through Saturday only, so hurry to Anderson Ford, Lynn Garden Drive, Kingsport. It'll let East Tennessee Realty Group open the door to your new home. Now showing Bay's View 2. Great for first-time buyers. Close to schools and all conveniences and with excellent financing available. See Bay's View 2 during open house. Follow these directions and stop by Saturdays and Sundays from 2 to 5 p.m. or anytime by appointment. For more information, call 378-4711 and let East Tennessee Realty Group open doors for you. This is WKPT Television's News Watch First Edition. 
It's the major event of the summer here in Kingsport. Fun Fest 89 is officially underway with the Mardi Gras festivities here in downtown Kingsport. Good evening, everyone. I'm Betty Payne. And I'm John Cleary. Thanks for being with us. And we are here live on Broad Street as Fun Fest 89 is officially underway. And if you thought Mardi Gras could only be found in New Orleans, well, there's, you should think again. The Downtown Kingsport Association and First American Bank have put together Kingsport's own version of Mardi Gras and what a celebration it is. And it is indeed a nice celebration. Here are just a few of the stories that we'll have this afternoon. Authorities in Carter County are still searching for clues surrounding skeletal remains surrounding uh, found yesterday in Carter County. Today they got assistance from the state and the TBI. But as Mark Wildman reports, answers may be several weeks away. Forensic anthropologist from the University of Tennessee joined the Carter County Sheriff's Department and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation today to begin the search for answers. Yesterday, a logger working in the Stony Creek section of Carter County stumbled upon the skeletal remains of what is presumed to be an elderly male. What we have to do is take the bones back to our lab and then we clean them up and have a look at them and compare them with samples we already have. And from that we can get a little bit better age estimate on them. Exactly how long the body has been in the woods has not been determined and neither has a cause of death. All that remains from the years of decay were the victim's boots, belt, and a nearly intact skeletal frame. Well, the first step we have to do is identify the uh, deceased. Uh, identify the deceased and then determine why he was in this area, uh, if he was from this area. And from the identity, then we can determine whether this will be a criminal investigation. We do have uh, missing persons. Uh, file with the uh, department from time to time. We can go back over those and try and uh, make a match to this particular person. Authorities hope to have the remains off the mountain before nightfall. On the news watch in Carter County, Mark Wildman, WKPT News. Another murder occurred in Greenville last night, this time a stabbing. 24-year-old Linda Marie Barner was arrested and charged with the stabbing death of her ex-husband shortly after 11 o'clock in Greenville last night. The victim, 33-year-old Hugh Barner, was stabbed once in the back. After Barner was stabbed, he drove himself to Laughlin Memorial Hospital, where he died. They took out warrants for her for felonious assault with intent to commit murder. Then later on, the, the uh, Hugh Lee Barner died, and as a result of that, they changed the warrant to first-degree murder. No motive has been established in the murder. Barner was arraigned this morning and faces a preliminary hearing August 23rd. Police say eyewitnesses are still being questioned and the investigation is continuing. The Carter County Grand Jury today handed down multiple indictments for several employees of the Elizabethan Public Works Department. In April, charges were filed against those employees for obtaining money under false pretenses and conspiracy to defraud the city of Elizabethan. The names of those indicted are not being released until those have been notified. The American Civil Liberties Union is disturbed with a slogan Kingsport Vice Mayor Richard Watterson is using on his personal stationery, which also includes the city's emblem. Watterson is sending memos to city officials with a slogan that reads, now is the time to insert Christianity into leadership. The ACLU is concerned that the slogan indicates a majority religion is supported by Kingsport with little provisions for other religions. Watterson says he will continue to use the stationery until his attorneys decide otherwise. What they did know was that I paid for it myself when it was reported to the ACLU. They thought that the city of Kingsport paid for the stationery. This stationery belongs to me, and uh, I will continue to use it. If you notice on your money that you have in your pocket, it says, in God we trust. Uh, I'm saying now's the time to search Chris Adams and the I see nothing wrong with it. Watterson says if the ACLU determines the slogan is unconstitutional, he will change his stationery. Kingsport's 1989 United Way officials have started organizing this year's campaign and hope to create more community support to reach their goal. For years, the United Way Fund Drive has relied primarily on industries to support the 18 agencies that receive their funds. But this year, officials plan to focus on the real needs of this community and plan to use new approaches to reach their goal. 
We're going to have a leadership giving program this year that we believe that will help particularly with our professional community and in the, in the commercial community also. We're going to have a Eat Today for United Way program with uh, area fast food restaurants and believe that this is a way to gain some publicity for the United Way campaign and also to increase the revenues that the campaign would receive. Officials also hope to continue pushing for non-industrial support by focusing on area businesses for donations. Now that FunFest is in full swing, many FunFest partygoers are wondering if FunFest t-shirts are still available. Thousands of people have been converging on FunFest headquarters at Kingsport Civic Auditorium buying up the t-shirts. FunFest officials had run out of the colorful shirts, but a new shipment is now available. Every time we order and fold and stock, it seems like they're gone, and we're reordering and folding and stocking more. But uh, we just we just sent in another order for t-shirts uh, so that we will have t-shirts, hopefully, if they're not all sold out, through FunFest. <laughs> Michael Filno also says most of the other FunFest items are still available at the Civic Auditorium. And with all the FunFest activities planned for this weekend, there are a few traffic changes that you should keep in mind. Lilac Street in, from Netherland Inn Road to the railroad crossing will be closed from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. for the Crazy Boat Race. And if you need handicapped parking facilities, several will be available at these events. For the Crazy Boat Race, the parking lot at Riverfront Park will be reserved for handicapped parking and rescue squad vehicles. A portion of the parking lot behind the Civic Auditorium at the corner of Legion and Midland Drives will be designated for handicapped parking. And of course, you should watch for the standard handicapped parking designation signs at all FunFest events. And there's probably no one who's a bigger FunFest fan than Francis Eaton. Francis Eaton. And uh, she's done a pretty good job with the forecast. Pretty good. If she can make the clouds to stay away a little bit longer. And also, Fran, what's, uh, we'll have also what's coming up over by the fountain where she's standing right now. Fran? I'm over here and I heard every word you said about the clouds and everything. The rain, I think it's going to hold off for maybe a, a little while longer. Let's try to keep it away at least through the parade this evening. And I will have the forecast for you coming up in just a few minutes. What if a bank offered to lend you $2,500 for two years free? The lines would be around the block. Well, that's exactly what Ball Brothers is doing. They'll lend you $2,500 or more free to buy the furniture you need with two years to pay it back with no finance charges. None. You can spend less than $2,500 and still save the finance charges. But hurry, it's now through Monday and it's just for you. $2,500 for two years free at Ball Brothers. In an age when styles change with the seasons, one style's endured for over a decade in Lincoln Town Car. As three quarters of a million luxury car owners have enjoyed its timeless elegance and unmatched interior space, it's a big reason why 102,000 Cadillac owners have switched to Lincoln in the last five years. Now, for a limited time, your Lincoln Mercury dealer offers the last of these town cars with a special $1,500 cash incentive. Don't miss this classic opportunity. Lincoln Town Car at your Lincoln Mercury dealer. For years, our competition has been mimicking us. We came out with Sanka decaffeinated coffee. Uh, we've got decaffeinated. We came out with Sanka ground on instant. Uh, we've got ground on instant. Well, we've let another cat out of the bag. A natural decaffeination process that only we have. Using pure water and effervescence to remove virtually none of the coffee flavor from the bean. Uh, uh oh. That ought to hold the competition. Uh, Sanka ground decaffeinated coffee. You can't beat the original. France Forecast is certified by the National Weather Association. True to form in the summertime, we've had a pretty nice day until now, and cl the clouds are beginning to roll back in throughout the area. Thunderstorms in progress all around the region. This activity, of course, will continue throughout most of tonight. It is summertime in northeast Tennessee. As for the area now, we are looking at a definitely increasing cloudiness in uh, Tri-Cities. The airport currently has a thunderstorm in progress, 82 degrees out there. 
Up in Roanoke, still some sunshine, 85. Asheville, 84 degrees. They're clouding up. Knoxville at 90 degrees, and they are also seeing clouds rolling in. London Corbin, shower previously this evening. Uh, current temperature is now 85 degrees. The low overnight out at Tri-Cities Airport was down to 67. Today's high up to 86 degrees, and that's about normal for this time of year. The airport picked up about five hundredths of an inch of rainfall in the past 24 hours. Humidity, it has been pretty high today. It's going to continue that way. Current reading is 72 degrees. 72 percent. Barometric pressure is rising 29.99. The winds are feeling pretty good blowing out of the north at 14, making it feel a little cooler than it really is. As for tonight around the nation, it's looking about the same as it has. We are seeing, though, less clouds across the southeast. On the map this evening, what's taking place is there's a cold front uh, beginning to drop down out of the Ohio Valley. It's going to come down fairly close, if not all the way through the Tennessee Valley. As it does, that means we will see uh, uh, clouds uh, more numerous and chance of uh, thunderstorm activity greater throughout this evening because, of course, colder air will be coming along with that system. Cold air, warm air do not mix, so that means uh, thunderstorms very likely as the night goes by. Tomorrow morning, though, we should be basically back to uh, fair skies. Uh, the system should not hang around very long as it passes through. Basically sunny throughout all the day, I think, but then again by tomorrow afternoon. You guessed it's the same old forecast. Uh, clouds coming back up out of the south. Uh, humidity flowing back in out of the south also so that means we'll be back to storms once again for saturday afternoon now as for friday night throughout northeast tennessee uh thunderstorm chance is a pretty good one tonight 30 to 40 percent of activity throughout the evening low temperatures again from 65 to 70. tomorrow most of the day pretty nice i think sunshine for the most part high humidity continuing by afternoon chance of showers high temperatures from 85 to 90. add up in southwest virginia you'll see th storms tonight about a 40 percent chance your low readings from 60 to 65 tomorrow a day just like today your high temperatures uh, should be somewhere up to around uh, 85 degrees and as for the extended outlook uh, for the end of the weekend on the first part of next week um, we are talking about basically the same forecast a chance of rain not really increasing or decreasing the scattered storms in the afternoon still very likely and last fall the kingsport visitor council sponsored um, a songwriting contest they were looking for a kingsport city theme song and uh, they had about 30 entries uh, the contest uh, was conducted this spring all the entries were judged and today the winning song was unveiled and the winner was kingsport's own wally boyd and tell us Thank about you, your song wally well i saw the contest last fall and I thought it looked pretty interesting and I've written songs as a hobby for some time so I decided well I would enter one and see what happened and it happened to win and it was uh, something to try to promote Kingsport and kind of get the feel of the area so okay well what was the name of the song it's uh, I get a kick out of Kingsport <laughs> Uh, I was asked to sing it, which I politely declined. Uh, but the uh, Cracker Jacks are singing it at various places. The symphony's going to be playing it. I can't wait to hear that next uh, Tuesday. Will it be used in um, uh, promoting the city of Kingsport? Uh, several ways. Yeah, probably in a promotional event and uh, try to give a good feel for the area because I really do enjoy living here, and it's something that uh, I'm, I'm real proud of. Okay, so we'll be hearing I get a kick out of Kingsport a I lot hope during so. the event. I hope so. Can't wait to hear it. Thank Congratulations. you, Congratulations. Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> John, Betty, uh, it is, as you know, out here very windy very humid a thunderstorm activity definitely rolling back in so we all may be getting a, a kick out of the weather this evening what do you think I'll tell you what it, it's it's hot i can tell it you it is that and we still have the parade coming up friends so keep the clouds away for a little while longer at least and the mardi gras celebration has been going on since 12 o'clock today and will continue through the fun fest parade this evening so come on down and join in on the fun there's music and dancing and just a lot of happy faces in the crowd here stay with us as news watch first edition continues live on the road from fun fest mardi gras Step into Bill Gatton Han and immediately you'll know that something very exciting is going on. Long stem roses for our lady customers, formal attire for the salesman, delicious refreshments. All this and more during Bill Gatton's Run for the Roses, our biggest savings event of the year. Save up to $1,000 on Civics, save up to $1,500 on Accords, save up to $2,000 on Preludes. All colors, all models, all discounted and ready for immediate delivery. Bill Gatton Han is Run for the Roses. I guarantee you'll find blooming bargains everywhere you look.
It's incredible. This week, New York Carpet World brings you a half-off sale no other store can match. Shop now and get labor and padding, both half off. That's right, installation half off and all the pad you need half off. What's more, you get these half-off savings with any carpet. And look at these sale bargains. Flushes and high lows, stain masters, Saxonies and Berbers, half-off labor and half-off pad with any carpet. No one else can bring you a half-off sale like this. To Saturday at New York Carpet World. The smart money is traveling Cadillac style because right now you automatically qualify for $1,000 cash back from Cadillac. $1,000 cash back on Seville's, Eldorado's, and Brome's. $1,000 cash back on Sedan and Coupe de Ville's. Plus extra savings of up to $4,000 during Bill Gatton Cadillac's Blue Chip Savings Days. And you'll be selecting your Cadillac from the biggest selection of the year. You know, for pure driving pleasure, this might be the best investment you'll make all year. Residents in Tennessee seem to be more susceptible to lung cancer than those in other states. Tennessee ranks ninth nationally in the number of lung cancer deaths. Figures released today by the United States Center for Disease Control revealed that 59 out of every 100,000 people in Tennessee died of lung cancer in 1986. In a national survey, Alaska showed the highest rate of lung cancer and Utah the lowest. Also in medical news tonight, while most of us are aware of the hazards of drinking and driving, a new study shows a very serious problem on the road may come from older drivers. Dr. Dina Dell has that story. When you think of trouble on the road, chances are you think of young drivers testing the limits of their newfound freedom. But a startling new report shows we may have to start paying more attention to a certain group of drivers on the other end of the spectrum. Researchers say demented drivers pose a serious problem on today's road. When you go to renew your driver's license, you usually take an eye test and maybe a written test, and once in a while a driving test. So other problems that might affect your driving may not show up. Researchers from Johns Hopkins surveyed the families of a group of dementia patients. Most suffered from Alzheimer's. They found almost a third of the patients were still driving. A great majority of those drove alone and at night. 75% consistently drove below the speed limit. 44% regularly got lost on the road. 6% were known to have caused an accident, and almost a third had been in an accident since their symptoms appeared. Now, this doesn't mean that all older patients are bad drivers. Quite the contrary. But the authors recommend those with suspected dementia should be asked about their driving. This is tricky business. We can't yet quantify Alzheimer's disease. I mean, how demented does a person have to be before we yank their driver's license? There are no guidelines. All you can do is if you know someone in this situation, is talk to them, their family, and their doctors. I'm Dr. Dean Adele. Dr. Dean Adele is brought to you by Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center. No matter who's doing the choosing, we're the right choice. And Bob Haywood is in the Fun Fest spirit. Bob Haywood. And Bob is busy preparing for tomorrow's Fun Fest Crazy Boat Race. Yes, yeah, so and we have our Freaks of the Week staff working overtime uh, for this Mardi Gras and all the other things coming up. You can find out. a lot of things here. Oh, yeah. On deck, we've got the Freaks of the Week, and it's physical examination time for local high school athletes as Newswatch Sports continues live on the road. Every minute of the day, your body performs billions of intricate tasks. It's the most complex machine on Earth. In fact, the only thing more difficult than understanding the mystery that is your body is finding someone to repair it. Hello, Ask a Nurse. Ask a Nurse. If you need a physician, we have the answer. The switch is on to Chevy Cavalier at your Mountain Empire Chevy dealer. We outgrew the Escort, so we switched to Cavalier. It has room for five. Well, my Cavalier's got a V6. You can't get one in a Ford this size. Make the switch to Chevy Cavalier. I feel better about the Chevy warranty. It covers the whole car three times longer than the Ford. Make your switch now and get 600 cash back or 2.9 financing on Cavalier. Chevy's taking on Ford and polishing them off at your Mountain Empire Chevy dealers.
Citizens Union Bank in you. Together for generations past and those yet to come. Grindstaff! It's a used car blowout! Grindstaff Super Sellathon was so successful, we're overrun with trade-ins. And we gotta sell them at any price. That's straight talk, straight from the boss. Many of these used cars are priced at wholesale, some below wholesale. No reasonable offer reviews. I'm Steve Grindstaff, and I guarantee it. Shop our new hours, 8 a.m. till midnight, Monday through Saturday, Sunday, 1 till 6. It's Grindstaff's used car blowout. And we're blowing the competition away. Grindstaff Chevrolet Chrysler Plymouth Dodge. Jimmy Means led the second round of qualifying for Sunday's Die Hard 500 at Talladega. His speed was 188.790 miles per hour. Means will start 21st in a Pontiac. In Major League Baseball today at Wrigley Field, the Cubs beat the Mets 6-5. Close to 1,000 area high school and middle school athletes representing all boys and girls sports will receive complete physicals tomorrow at the Sullivan Rehabilitation Center. Saturday's examinations will be the first line of defense in preventing sports injuries. We're doing testing on heel cord range of motion. First station will look at height, weight, and blood pressure. Second station will be a urinalysis screening. Third station will be a physical examination provided by a physician. Fourth station will be a dental exam where they'll look at their teeth and give them a clearance there. The fifth station, which for athletes is probably the most critical station, will be uh, musculoligamentous testing where they'll do testing of the muscle, muscular strength, flexibility, as well as the stability of the ligaments, especially in the shoulder, the knee, and the ankle. Then the final station is probably a unique station for most of the athletes in this area in that it'll be a performance test. We'll do a body fat analysis and also a vertical jump test, which gives us some idea of what the athlete its capacity to produce power is. The participating schools are Sullivan South, Sullivan North, Central, Volunteer, Dobbins Bennett, and their feeder middle schools. The physicals are free. The watermelon seed spitting contest was the highlight of Mardi Gras this afternoon. Our own melon eating seed spitting Bruce Barkley was there. For my money, the best part of Fun Fest is the chance to spit in public. The watermelon seed spitting contest grabbed its share of the Mardi Gras spotlight today. The 8 to 11 year old division ended in a tie, so the judges said, Let's have a spin off. Yeah. Richard Maynor won with a spit of 19 and a half feet. You're going against other people. Yeah. And they might beat you. So you just gotta try. Ricky Blevins picked up the adult honor, sending his seed a whopping 30 feet. I'm in the Army. I'm stationed Fort Drum. I come in on leave, and they, she talked me into trying this today, so I thought I'd give it a try. Are you proud of your dad? Uh -huh. Well, there may have been three first place blue ribbon seed spitting winners, but I might be the real winner because they only used half a watermelon to get all those seeds, and I got the rest. See you later. <laughs> Mister? It's a fun fest 52 weeks a year as far as we're concerned because every Friday it's the freaks of the week, Mr. the unusual, the unique, and the outstanding in the world of sports. We begin the freaks of the week with a new twist to the old hidden ball trick. Von Hayes drove it deep to right field and Hubie Brooks doesn't have a clue. Where did it go? Rip down that banner. It's on the freaks of the week, Hubie. Jody Reed had a heap of trouble with George Brett's pop fly. Pat Tapler is usually the designated hitter. Here's why. Playing left field for the injured Bo Jackson, Tabler looked lost, and Bo got a good laugh. Toronto's junior Felix lost that ball in the swamp, but Luis Colonia had the toughest week of all. He was afraid of that ball and came up short on that sliding attempt. We featured many horrible national anthems on the Freaks of the Week, even though his teammates laughed, the Cubs' Dwight Smith belted out a good one. And the rock is red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner. Go, Dwight. More singing later. 
There were some spectacular plays. Detroit's Gary Pettis goes behind the fence to rob Brian Downing of a homer. And the Cubs' Sean Dunstan says, who needs a glove? He barehands the one hopper and makes the bang-up play. How many errors can you make in one play? Two throwing and a crash into the coach? Two throwing errors and then he ran into the coach. And Osik is out. All that and he was still out. If you thought the mud track was slick for cars at the King Sports Speedway last Friday, you should try walking down the high banks like that poor guy. We promised you more singing, and we deliver. Former heavyweight champ Larry Holmes is back on the Freaks of the Week. Listen, people, I'm Larry Holmes. I'm not in the ring, so I'm going to do you a poem. In my profession, I was the best. Top condition never settled for less. While Morgana the Kissing Bandit tries to drum up support for her great pair of hands, it's time to say goodbye. And we'll see you next time on the Freaks of the Week. Here in downtown Kingsport, where Mardi Gras continues in full swing. Stay with us. They're coming from Kentucky, they're coming from Alabama, they're coming to Wild Bill's truck a -rama. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks. Chevys, Isuzu's, Suzuki's, even used trucks. And they have one thing in common. Prices that have been cut, slashed, whittled down to the nub. No one ever beats Wild Bill's truck prices, but during our truck a -rama, you'll save even more. Wow, I just came in to use a telephone. Now I'm driving home in this new S10. Wow, what a deal! Trucks, trucks, trucks at Wild Bill's truck a -rama here at the Chevy store on State Street. You spend approximately one-third of your life in bed. Don't you deserve the most comfortable mattress made? Since 1938, Brothers Bedding has made a commitment to making the most comfortable mattress at the lowest possible price. Here at the factory, our mattress makers take great pride in making your new mattress. We can deliver right away, and we will haul off that old mattress for you. We're located at 1159 North Eastman Road in the Greenacre Shopping Center. Come by and see us. Step into Bill Gatton Han and immediately you'll know that something very exciting is going on. Long stem roses for our lady customers, formal attire for the salesman, delicious refreshments. All this and more during Bill Gatton's Run for the Roses, our biggest savings event of the year. Save up to $1,000 on Civics, save up to $1,500 on Accords, save up to $2,000 on Preludes. All colors, all models, all discounted and ready for immediate delivery. Bill Gatton Honda's Run for the Roses. I guarantee you'll find blooming bargains everywhere you look. And while, <laughs> Sorry. and while we're here at this chaotic Mardi Gras celebration and fun fest, Mark Wildman and Sarah Pope are standing by live at our Commerce Street studios in Kingsport. Mark and Sarah. Thanks a lot, Betty and John. Coming up tonight on Newswatch Nightside, Governor McWhorter is in Morristown. We'll tell you about his visit. And the flight attendants from last week's crash in Iowa held an emotional news conference today. And President Bush spoke with the press as well. We'll have all these stories plus news, weather, and sports tonight at 11. Betty and John. And that is our news for this first edition of News Watch. We'll be back live at 7 o'clock with the Kingsport Fun Fest Parade. Then later tonight, Mark Wildman and Sarah Pope will be on location from the Fun Fest Five Mile Road Race. Thanks for being with us. Have a good weekend.
Yes, Thon is still on at your Toyota dealer. And battling the crime wave of crummy car deals all over Gotham. Armed with Toyota quality and great Toyota deals, Thon could save you big with the biggest incentives and option discounts in Toyota history. But soon the tide of crummy deals will turn and Thon will move on. So take heart, but get to your Toyota dealer now before it's all over. Caden Alley, weekdays at 4.30 on Tremendous WKPT-TV. Drama behind the scenes of a Hollywood movie combines murder, drugs, and a fight for power. True life, wilder than fiction. The inside story on entertainment tonight for Friday, July 28th, 1989. Joining us today, Mary is a little bit under the weather. I'm Lisa Gibbons. And I'm John Tesh. Over the years, Hollywood has come up with some bizarre movie plots, weaving stories of murder and dope dealing with power struggles and huge amounts of cash. Our inside story today, reported by Garrett Glazer, has all of those elements, but it's based on real life, not fiction. This is the story of Robert Evans, a Hollywood producer said to be desperate for the financing he needed to make his next film. It's also the story of Roy Radin, a New York promoter who wanted Hollywood prestige and who could possibly provide that cash to Evans. And finally, it's the story of Laney Greenberger, a reputed cocaine wholesaler who brought Evans and Radin together. The story takes us to this unlikely location, a canyon in Southern California's Tehachapi Mountains. It was here in 1983 that Roy Radin, the New York promoter, was found dead. His body badly decomposed, riddled with bullets. The discovery of that body set in motion an investigation complicated by a web of big-time Hollywood intrigue, drugs, double-cross, and murder. In the 70s, Roy Radin had made millions promoting regional theatrical reviews. His lavish lifestyle included a 70-room castle in Southampton, the wealthy Long Island resort... Even his wife's confidence in him had been a little shaken. The thing about Le Monde is that he never gave up on himself. Now there's an athlete who really is a role model. That's our report on World News Tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. Have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Good night. This has been a presentation of ABC News, where more Americans get their news than from any other source. Some say ball players come and go like weeds in the outfield. Others say you should have seen Pete Gray. A winner never quits. Saturday. Sunday, six men and 36 dogs undertake an adventure like no other. Transantarctica, the international expedition. Sunday on ABC. When my doctor told me I had to have open heart surgery, I had a lot of concerns. The surgery itself, having to leave town in order to have the operation, then he told me that we had one of the finest open heart surgery teams right here in the Tri-Cities at Holston Valley Hospital. The latest equipment, proven performance since 1979. Well, it wasn't easy, but being close to my family, well, it meant more to me than you can imagine. We preempt our regular programming to bring you the following special Fun Fest Live presentation. This live telecast of the 1989 Fun Fest Kickoff Parade is being brought to you by Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center. No matter who's doing the choosing, we're the right choice. And by Tremendous WKPT TV 19.
everyone, I'm Betty Payne from WKPT's Newswatch, and we are here live on Center Street in downtown Kingsport, where the 1989 Fun Fest Parade is just moments away. Joining me here on the platform is Tom Throck, WKPT TV Sales and WKPT AM Sportscaster. Right. Also joining us is Mr. Paul Bishop, the administrator with Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center, one of the sponsors for this parade. And we can hear some of the noise already beginning in the back. It is promised to be a very action-packed and a very exciting parade today, and we're just glad to be here and, and glad that you could be here to join us for this broadcast. Looks like some of the lights are headed down this way right now. They've kicked off the parade, and they're headed our way as they're coming from Clay Street down Center Street. They're going to hit Cherokee Street over to Sullivan and then back to Sullivan Street. And we're going to go to Francis and John up at the start of the parade now and see what's going on up there. We have already got it underway. Uh, Tom, Betty, Francis Eden here. And I'm John Cleary, and we are at the intersection of Clay and Commerce Streets as the Spirit of the Fun Fest Band is bringing the Spirit start of the, of the parade. Band, yes. Uh, uh, band members from local high schools, uh, South DB, Volunteer, and Central are going down now. In front of them was uh, the entry from Holston Valley Hospital, and it looks like it's going to be a great show this evening. And we'll be talking to you throughout the parade. Sit back and enjoy it. Now let's go to Sonia McFarland. Hey, Sonia, where are you? Hi, everyone. I'm down here on Clay Street at the very end of the parade. The crowds are still fil filtering in, and everybody's lining up. It looks like they're all ready for the parade. Looks like we got some great entries down here. It's going to be a really good time. Go, go. And we're now here back on the platform, and we can see the uh, police escort and color guard and some of the bands from the area high schools starting to make their way down Center Street. There they are. And, Paul, this is uh, has got to be one of the most uh, exciting highlights of Fun Fest. Oh, it's a fantastic way to kick off a wonderful nine days. We really enjoy it every year. Uh, we got lucky again. This uh, rain's held off. It's cool. Perfect weather for a parade. Looks like we've got a great crowd out here today to enjoy it as well. And I see some of the bands coming that way. I can't quite yet tell which school that is, but they'll it, be up here by the platform. It's actually, in just an all-star band it's an made all -star up of band, all yeah. the different schools in the area, the best musicians, one's interested in going. And let's go down to uh, Sarah Pope and Mark Wildman down on the street. Thanks a lot, Betty. We are down here on the streets. As you can probably see behind us, the parade has already started down here at the end. And Sarah, I'm looking forward to a great time. Oh, gosh, me too. we got thousands of people down here. It looks like we're all going to have a great time. It's going to be a good time. We'll give you some play-by-play -play and talk to some people in the streets later on. Right now, back to you, Betty. Thanks, Mark and Sarah. And they are getting closer. There's another shot from above Center Street here in downtown Kingsport. And we're going to take a commercial break now. And we'll be right back right after this with the 1989 Fun Fest Parade. Have you ever had an accident? I got hurt on my other leg right here by this other basketball shoe right here. It's round this, um, right down by this sock, all these stripes. And, mm -hmm. and I fell and I got one scratch, right, right two scratches, and I fell and, and I bumped. Let me see. There's nothing under there. See? Hello everyone, I'm Betty Payne and we are back now with the 1989 Fun Fest Parade. And the parade is slowly making its way down Center Street. We can hear the police sirens. And who do we have coming up here, Tom? Well, uh, again, we have the uh, All-Star Band making its way down as we shout over the uh, police sirens there. Again, the All-Star Band made up of uh, students from all the area high schools and a, quite an exciting event for those youngsters right there that are out here getting ready to play a tune for us as they come by. Behind them is coming the uh, Holston Valley Hospital employees, some of them. I understand, Paul, there's tons of different uh, floats from Holston Valley this oh, year. Oh, sure are. I'd like to make a special note, of, as we can see the color guard there, that's the boys from Troop 48, Colonial Heights Boy Scouts. There they are. There they are carrying the flags. see a shot there of the band as it's coming up. Color guard in front of them. The flag wavers out in front. Majorettes, they've got the whole crew out here. Does anybody know how many people are involved in this band? Gracious, there must be 150. It's <laughs> like a sea of green out there with all those green t-shirts. These are all volunteers from the various high schools. Rocky Top. Rocky Top, an old faithful right there.
And after the parade, you're not going to have to go very far to hear some good blues music. The Metropolitan Blues All-Stars will be playing. Carolyn, tell us a little bit about it. Metropolitan Blues All-Stars is a world-renowned group, and they have, are from Lexington, Kentucky. They're going to start performing at 845, so we'd like to invite all of you people to come out and see us. They're extremely popular in this area. Where's the concert? No, they don't. The concert is in front of the train station at the end of Broad. So jo join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have concessions and a lot of great music. I was going to ask about the food. That goes along with it, doesn't it? Yes, we've got uh, the concession stand so you can get food there. Relax and enjoy the music. And what was the other group no. that played? The other group check it. We is have Nervous Rex. And they're a local band, and they have a good following. Nothing. They play it down home, that type of thing, a lot. And they're very, very good. Okay, I see. Sounds great. Well, I hope everybody comes out and joins us. Same here. Now I think we're going to go back to Sonia McFarland. Thanks, guys. Come and join us if okay, you have a chance. We have lost. We know nothing here. We know stuff. Really? I'm ready for one now. I'm going to wait till the race. Go to night, Yeah, see you Thursday. Don't you guys work too hard. We'll see you. Thanks. Make sure you're all right and can breathe. Now, what is this baby carriage that's coming up? We've got some friendly faces there passing the platform. Oh, I tell you, that's uh, a little fella that was born at the hospital. He's got uh, a special oxygen need, and they uh, have taken care of him, made him a big carriage, and he's a proud participant. There's the stroller brigade going behind a they large sure carriage are. there. Quite a turnout. All these, all these kids have been born at Holston Valley Hospital. And they get to be the lucky ones tonight. They're riding. They've got parents there having to go. push and walk the whole route. That's a tough road right there. Again, more employees of the Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center coming by. Proud sponsors of tonight's parade. How many employees do you have at that hospital? This is quite a turnout. We have about 1,700 employees. And, of course, I, I would imagine their uh, family and friends are here with them Absolutely. This Absolutely. Paul, how many people from the hospital are actually working the parade tonight other than you sitting up here? We had to leave a few people at the hospital <laughs> to take care of patients, but there are probably 300 people down here at least wow. working and in, uh, in the uh, parade itself. There's another aerial shot from above Center Street. And again, the crowd today is absolutely fabulous. We've had... Uh, a threat of that dreaded R word, but it's not uh, come at all, and, and the crowd is in mass, as you can see, down the line there for the parade. This is the dietary department, the folks that fix the meals over at Holston Valley. Looks like some good food on that float going by. They should have stopped it off right here. <laughs> Hi. Good food gets patients well. <laughs> That's right. Part of the garden room. Paul, tell us about the garden room down there. It's a place that you can get a meal 24 hours a day. We got some little tykes here on some, what are those, three-wheelers? They sure are. Four-wheelers, it looks like, motorized. Why now, where were they when I was young? <laughs> I had this to pedal. I'm firmly convinced there's more people in this parade than, than watch it. It's one parade you just get in and go. Now here comes something interesting on the back of this little red pickup truck. What is that? An ambulance? It's an ambulance. Sure is. Miniature size. Folks in there ready to... I suspect you may be able to see that go down the river tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, an entry in the crazy boat race. I think it is. Oh, there's some happy faces. And as always, clowns. What's a parade without a clown? These are the mall walkers. Some healthy people going there. There's been people who walk hundreds and thousands of miles. So they should handle this parade without any trouble no whatsoever. No trouble whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Some more of those little four-wheelers. I was born way too early, Betty. <laughs> Maybe it's not too late. Maybe yeah. <laughs> you can go out there and borrow one. <laughs> I'll Maybe take the red one, you get the blue one. Okay. And then I'd like to have that little convertible there. And the parade is continuing to make its way down Center Street here in downtown Kingsport. And we're glad that everyone could join us this evening. And hopefully the rain is going to hold off just a little bit longer so we can get through the parade this evening. Now we're going to take another commercial break here and stay tuned and come back and join us for the 1989 Fun Fest Parade.
My husband stopped smoking over a year ago. Is there something else he can do to reduce his risk of lung My cancer? allergies are killing me. Isn't there something better than over-the-counter remedies I can take? My daughter's had a pretty bad chest cold for over a week. Do you think she needs to see a doctor? Is there a regional lung center at Holston Valley Hospital? When you have questions about health care, call someone who has free answers 24 hours a day. Hello? Ask a nurse. May I help you? Ask a nurse at Holston Valley Hospital. 1-800-245-8544. We're back with the 1989 Fun Fest Parade, and joining me is Tom Thrupp, the WKPT AM sportscaster and WKPT TV sales, and Paul Bishop, administrator from Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center. And what's coming up the street now? I believe some more floats, some friendly faces, and I believe we're going to go down on the street now with Sarah Pope, who's standing by with an interview. Sarah? Here with um, your Carol Duncan. And you are a Fun Fest fan, and you have come to Fun Fest for the whole time there has been a Fun Fest. That's right. And you're just a big fan? Oh, yes. We get into Fun Fest in a big way. Do you understand you've got a daughter that is, what is she doing in Fun Fest? Uh, uh, my daughter, Lindsay, is going to be in the Little Miss Fun Fest contest tomorrow, uh, Little Theater. At what time? 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Okay. Where's your Fun Fest t-shirt? Uh, well, I've been so busy with her and her little Fun Fest things. Okay. I haven't had time to get Mom a Fun Fest And we'll shirt. see you at the Crazy Boat Race tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank I you. appreciate it. Have a great time. Okay. Okay. Back to you, Betty and John. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. And we've got more floats coming down Center Street now. What is this? It looks like a giant book. From Arcata Graphics as they make their way down. Ice cream and Allendale, it's Fun Fest, 89. And that is also a, a crazy fest. boat. We'll see that tomorrow live here on WKPT and the Crazy Boat Race. A lot of the entries in the parade tonight are also boats right. that are going to, going to be in tomorrow's Crazy Boat Race. I'm glad we're going to water in the river this year. We've got an ace drill team making its way down here. We'll see how ace they are. And a little circular float going by aluminum brick and glass workers, International Union. This gives new meaning to the term drill team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad and you drills, said that. Electric uh, drills, all sides of drills. One of the nicest things about this parade is everyone comes up with the most original entries. It's for fun, and people definitely have fun. That's why they call it Fun Fest, and this is wonderful. <laughs> Power drills, that's great. Oh, we've got some clogging, dancing coming up here. The Pioneer Dancers from Churchill. T-shirts all throughout this crowd. There's a T-ball champions. City of Kingsport. The Phillies. And this must be the rest of the team. That's there right. And coming up next, WCYB TV5. With their entry in this year's parade. There's another little four-wheeler, Tom. Now that one's, uh, I think Paul's going to get that one. <laughs> and there's a replica. That's a boat right there, a crazy sure boat. Of the Bill Elliott Ford Thunderbird. That's a sharp-looking boat. From Anderson Ford. Some youngsters driving it, so clear the roads, folks. Uh, that really looks like a real car. Yeah. Looks like these fellas lost their balloon now. <laughs> I think we're going to go down now to Clay Street with Sonia McFarlane, who is standing by with a very interesting person in this Fun Fest parade. Sonia? Hi, Betty and Tom. Uh, I happen to be stumbling around down here at Clay Street through all the parade entries, and look who I found. Batman and the Joker happens to be this summer's two hottest movie stars, and their names are... Brad Davis and Randy Collier. So tell me, why, why did y'all decide to come as Batman and the Joker? Was it the movie that, that brought it out in you? Yeah, the movie did, yeah. Uh, 
we just heard about the fun, the festivity down here this week, and we thought we'd bring your bat boat show off at the parade and crazy boat race tomorrow from Gotham City. Uh, exactly what is a bat boat? Well, it's just a, a boat, you know. I, we just took the motor and everything out of it so it'll float. Uh-huh. So is it, is it going to be entered in the crazy boat race? Yeah, yeah, it will. Okay, and that's tomorrow, right? Yeah, 12 o'clock. Okay, uh, tell me, uh, what, what's it look like down here to you all? Y'all having a good time so far? It looks great down here. People going crazy. Uh, it's nice. What about you, Joker? I can't believe you're hanging around with this Batman guy. I didn't think y'all were supposed to be friends. Uh, you, this this Fun Fest activity just brings out the best in us, I guess. So y'all decided just to get together for Fun Fest, huh? That's right. Sure. Okay, thanks for joining me. Y'all have a good time. Thank you. And they're at the end of the end of the uh, parade, so you'll be seeing them probably in about 20 minutes or so. Betty, Tom? Okay, Sonia, and we've got a, a I'm not sure what this is, a clogging team? Clogging team, yeah. Bright green t-shirts. Doing it upright. You can get some exercise doing now. In complete formation, formation, as you can see there from our overhead camera, ably manned by Jeff Faust this evening. Some more clowns. Everybody loves a clown. I think we've got more clowns in the uh, parade this year than we've ever had. There's several just really good groups of clowns. The crowd just really amazes me. I just think this is absolutely wonderful. You see people turn out and it's just wonderful. And as you said, Paul, there's so many people involved in the parade and yet there's thousands and thousands lining the streets right now. I don't think we've ever had this uh, big a crowd. There's the TEC Mechanics Tug of War team that we're looking at there with their trophy. First place team. They look like Tug of War people to me. Awfully nice looking folks. I guess we don't want to get them mad, do we? <laughs> And we have here a gymnastics team. Doing some flips. Now, Betty, you get to do that before we break tonight. Right? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now, that's, the, I haven't seen anyone come down Center Street like that in a while. <laughs> no. And no, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Some happy parade goers. Parade's always for the kids, no matter what age they That's are. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, it keeps us all young at heart, I do believe. Also have lots of balloons in this year's parade. Balloons and clowns go with a festive atmosphere, a fun fest. I believe people are really in the mood for fun fest this year. It's been a real excitement for last week. Good kickoff tonight. Definitely. By the by the crowd that's turned out here this evening, especially with the threat of rain in the air, it's, it's uh, Churchill Middle turnout. School cheerleaders going by now, giving us a rousing cheer. And you can just see down the line there. Susie's Kingsport Gymnastics Club. That's the younger group, I believe, of the ones that just went by a moment ago. They're not ready to flip and flop all the way down the street. They're, Some they're aspiring gonna... young gymnasts. Exactly. You see, so many people out here are just here for the fun of it. Right. I mean, just in a car and cruising down Center Street and just happy to be a part of Fun Fest. Kingsport Gymnastics. When they asked me to be the color commentator this year, I told them I could identify a red truck for the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> a brown horse. And blonde hair. I pulled that one out for you. There you go. Yeah, we've, we've got our colors now. Pretty t-shirt this year for Fun Fest. You know, and I understand they've popular. sold more t-shirts than ever before already this year. And, you know, fun, today's the first day of official Fun Fest. As we see the Cracker Jacks coming down and more crowd shots. You really see the Fun Fest t-shirts all over the country. It's a young man decked out for Fun Fest. Cracker Jacks will be performing. You see their truck coming down now. They'll be performing all week long. Okay, and I think we're going to go to another commercial break here, but we hope you'll stay with us as the 1989 Fun Fest Parade continues. You are responsible for the most intricate machine on Earth. A machine that can run for over 100 years, yet be decimated by something a mere billionth of its
size. It comes with no instructions, but there is an owner's hotline. Hello, ask a nurse. Ask a nurse. If you have a health care question, we have the answer. And here we are back with the 1989 Fun Fest Parade as the Hands-On Museum fire truck goes by. You can hear the siren there in the background. And who is this that we have in this little black convertible? Little, little Miss Fun Fest. Ah, little Miss Fun Fest waving along there. Hi. And as the parade entries keep coming down Center Street, Another dance more team. More. Group from Rascals. Group from Rascals. Ooh. It's a pretty red. Now, would you consider that a hot rod or a classic? A coupe. A coupe. <laughs> Beautiful. Lady. Like that back seat. Absolutely. A rumble seat, correct? That's right. Okay. I don't remember it myself. <laughs> no, I knew you didn't. I, I was hoping somebody could uh, come up with that one. Huh? <laughs> Great horn. There's another classic. I think we're going to go down the street now, down to Center and Clay, where Francis Eden and John Cleary are standing by. Francis, John, what's going on down there? We have with us the man uh, who is solely responsible for the 1989 Fun Fest, Michael Filno. I would say that, Francis. There's <laughs> there's too many people involved in Fun Fest to, yeah. to bring down to one person. But you are the coordinator. Yes, I am the coordinator. And isn't this great? It is. This is great. It's just the crowd is, is eight to ten deep down the street. It, it's, it's just super. Are you pleased just, with it? Oh, I'm Jim? very happy. And, and if the crowds continue like they have for all the events, the uh, free fun fest and the uh, kickoff today, we're in for a banner, banner year with with crowds. And uh, we, we hope this crowd continues over for the Blues Fest tonight. Mm -hmm. Michael, we heard them talking earlier, Betty and Tom, about the T-shirts. There's still plenty. You just got another shipment in today. We see a lot of them. They're still available, aren't well, they? We, we have T-shirts left at the Civic Auditorium. They sold 1,800 T-shirts today, from what I understand. And uh, that's a bunch in, in one day. 1,800 1,800. And, and uh, to top that off well, with everything we sold now, I think you see all 28,000 here today. And, <laughs> and that's great. That's great. How about the address? headquarters for the Fun Fest? The headquarters for the Fun Fest is at Civic Auditorium uh, down uh, uh, down on um, Fort Henry. Fort Henry. Thank you. Thank you. It's, been, it's been long days so far. So uh, uh, please come on out. It, it, it's a great time. Everybody's having a good time. Okay. They are. We have really stacked them in here this evening for the parade, that's for sure. Any thoughts on uh, the rest of Fun Fest week? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and uh, come on out and enjoy it. Thanks, Mike, and I believe we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be back with more Fun Fest 89 Parade right after this. See you later. No, I don't think we're going to take that commercial break just yet, John. We've still got a lot more people coming down Center Street. I don't know if you heard it down on your end of the block, but we just had another rendition of Rocky Top <laughs> go by here. And who do we have coming by here in this red convertible? Well, that's a good question. Oh, the sign is down. I can't see it. She's a lovely young lady waving there to the crowd. The next, the next truck coming up at, uh, behind that young lady we see being waved at is a uh, very interesting story. That's the Ulster Project. Some kids from Ireland, uh, both Protestants and Catholics, coming over to spend time in the United States. There are different groups all over the country in King Sports and area where they have come for the past two or three years. They couldn't have picked a better time to come visit this city. Either. They have coordinated it purposely for that, and they get... Uh, quite a tour of all the things going on. A lawnmower entry. Yeah. Clean Kingsport <laughs> coming by. Clean a roof. Now I don't think that there is another parade in the country where you can enter a lawnmower Those are the, right down the middle of your That's of a your city council. Yeah, I was going to say that's a Board of Mayor and Alderman going down. They can go just about wherever they want to, I think. I, I'm not going to argue with them. Little Miss Fun Fest contestants. Some very pretty young ladies. Next up, well, again, we go back to the Little Miss Fun Fest contestants. A bunch of them. Truck load of them. That's right. All in their Fun Fest t shirts, ready to go. Crew from Comfort Inn. Again, that's what this parade is for, as we've talked about. Anyone and everyone, just come on out and be a part of it, and that's what Fun Fest is all about. And the model there of their hotel. Well, that's nice. And I think.
think we're going to go down now on Center Street, where Mark and Sarah are standing by. What's going on down there, Sarah? Thanks a lot, Betty. Among FunFest's most crazy events is the Crazy Boat Race that starts tomorrow. It's sponsored by Heritage Federal, and here to tell us about it is Richard Hampton and Marie Dayhill of Heritage Federal. Richard, what is the Crazy Boat Race? Well, it's a race that starts at uh, Heritage Park at 12 o'clock noon and goes down to the Netherland Inn. And it's full of a lot of boats, and everybody has a lot of fun. Did he forget anything, Marie? The balloons. He forgot the balloons. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of balloons. That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the crazy boat race, which starts tomorrow at Her Heritage Park at 12 noon. Right. Thanks right. a lot. Okay, okay good luck. Back to you. Okay, Sarah, and we've got a little white pickup going by that is just loaded down with red, white, and blue balloons. Who is that, Tom? Those are folks from Styles Pest Control. Oh, there's a happy person. The Westview Hay Ride, they brought it all the way down here to Center Street. Glad to have them. The big, massive Ferguson. <laughs> what a happy group. That's wonderful. If there was an award for noisiest group, they may get it. <laughs> They're leading the way right now, no question. Some youngsters on bicycles coming down the road. Next up is Wholesale Electric. Coming by in their van there, decked out in balloons. And the entries just keep coming down Center Street. Got a big bright light on the front of that little float. Again from Wholesale Electric. Islamic Catholic School. And they're walking. They've braved it. And scootering. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some are smarter than others. That... Kid next door has got a scooter. I want to borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's he got in that basket there? I don't know, but we've had food go by and other things in baskets, and they never come to our vantage point. Handing out goodies. Oh, they keep missing us. Well, we appreciate this year that uh, they're not throwing right. candy. We felt it was a little dangerous, and so they're carefully handing it out. And just oh, now these are some friendly faces in the back of this truck. From Vermont United Methodist Puppet Team. Two trucks coming by, complete with puppets. Clowns come in all sizes, big and little. Another one of those motorized vehicles. And there we have the Culligan Bear. How do they make that faucet stand up like that? <laughs> I don't know. Balloons, balloons, and more balloons. Another little garden tractor going by. Looks like he's got a full load there in his wagon. Next float here, or next... That's an easy way to travel. Is that First American Bank? Right, from Lynn Garden Branch. First American does a good job in the parade. They have several loads. Seems like each branch maybe has its own entry in the parade. I believe so. That is quite a crowd there. Looking you know, down it, Center Street. It's really amazing. I realize I keep harping on that, but it really amazes me. This looks like a Maypole entry coming up here. Riverview Community. The Riverview Community salutes Fun Fest. Very nice float. Coming up, the folks from 98.5 WTFM and their Super CD. Their CD on wheels. And I think we're going to go now to a commercial break. We hope you're enjoying the 1989 Fun Fest Parade. Stay with us for more coverage. Every minute of the day, your body performs billions of intricate tasks. It's the most complex machine on Earth. In fact, the only thing more difficult than understanding the mystery that is your body is finding someone to repair it. Hello, ask a nurse. Ask a nurse. If you need a physician, 
we have the answer. Okay, everyone, we're back now with this year's Fun Fest Parade as the official Kingsport Fun Fest balloon is passing by now on Center Street. Is he going to clear that traffic light? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. <laughs> a lot of people are turned out here today for this parade and a lot of entries and just a, just a lot of fun. I think there are twice as many people here this year than there has been in the past. Oh, there goes a the balloon. And here we have another entry from Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center, the Mobile Blood Bank. The thing about this parade is you can see so many of your friends and neighbors just out walking down the street as an entry. I mean, whether they have a some kind of vehicle or a float, it doesn't matter. You just come on out and march down Center Street and just be a part of the activity. And everybody's neighbor who's not marching or riding is standing here watching, and that's wonderful. There goes the class of 2001. That's the uh, Holy Trinity Lutheran Church going by. More classic cars making their way down Center Street. You know, I don't know if this parade is more for the youngsters or for the... Uh, for the seniors, but everyone just seems to enjoy it. I think we're going to go down now to Clay Street with Sonia McFarland. Sonia, what's happening on that end of the parade? folks from Shelby Street Panage. That's a gal that cuts my hair. That's what little there is out there. It happens, happens to be my aunt in there, too, so I'd give them a plug. They got a Beach Party 63 on there. They got Ed Funicello and Frank Yavil and the whole crew with them. Uh, some, now, those would be street rides, street I would rides. say. We look for Jeff Faust to jump down out of his camera position and try to take off in one of those, so we'll keep an eye on him. Someone has taken some very fine care with those cars. Beautiful, beautiful vehicles. Faces in the crowd. One thing we ought to remind people of, Betty, while we're here and is the fact that the parade will be rebroadcast on Monday, July 31st on Warner Cable Channel 19. It's at 8 o'clock on Monday the 31st. That's right. And also, we're going to be doing the Crazy Boat Race live tomorrow, and it will also be rebroadcast that right. same night following the Fun Fest Parade. I think we're going to try to go back to Sonia McFarland now down on uh, Clay Street. Sonia? Well, Betty and Tom, we'll try this once again. Sorry about that audio trouble. We're down here with Barbara Geip at Clay and Center. She's the woman who put all of this together. She's the parade coordinator. And Barbara, tell me, uh, how long did it take you all to put this parade together? Well, it's really the community that put it together. It's the fun fest spirit at work. And it is all of the community who did that. We just tied up the loose ends. And we really got into it about two weeks ago. This really looks like a successful event. There's a lot of events, a lot of happy people. About how many entries are there? I would say there are about 175 entries and a few stragglers. Um, they kept coming in clear up till today, so we don't have an accurate count yet. So are, are there going to be any awards for this, or is it just uh, strictly a participation sport? Oh, yes, there are going to be awards. Of course, the greatest award is being in it. And we'll have a prize called the Judge's Favorite, uh, the epitome of a group get-together, uh, most original, and one other one that I can't remember. <laughs> That's okay. We'll forgive you. Barbara, you've done a great job here, and I'm sure all of Kingsport thanks you. It's, it's a great parade. Thanks for Thank you. Me. Thank you for being here. I'm going to let her go back to her job. Back to you, Betty and Tom. Thanks, Sonia. We also want to mention that WKPT-TV is giving away a new award this year in the parade called Parade Watch, and it will be going to the entry with the best Fun Fest spirit, and that's going to be a tough choice to make. Yes, it is. The Hillcrest Club. Some pretty quilts on the yeah. side of that van. So you're going to go get those, right? We've got people getting the trucks. So, okay. We've got some camouflage vehicles coming down the street. And there's a little happy parade person. Hanging out in the back of a pickup. That's right. Orange and white. I like those colors. 
Here comes U.S. Army Reserve vehicles. There's some youngsters hanging on those. Company D, 844th Engineer Battalion. It's easy to see where all those FunFest t-shirts went so quickly. <laughs> and again, as I said earlier, there are plenty of FunFest t-shirts still on sale and people can get them up at the, get them at the FunFest office. That looks like a uh, Batman character. Yeah, that's, that's the Joker the we Joker? spoke with earlier, I do believe. That's right. Have you folks seen Batman yet? I've not been able to get in yet. I haven't either. It is fantastic. Is it really? Yeah. That is a monster of a vehicle. Yes. And a monster of a horn. <laughs> Some of these entries have it all, you know? It's great. <laughs> Put it on TV. Well, you just got on TV, young lady. <laughs> I think we're going to go down the block once again and check in with Francis Eden and John Cleary to see what's happening down there at the head of the parade. Fran and John? Hey, Betty, we're just pulling in anybody we can find off the streets now. Look who we've come up with, Morgan King. And everybody knows yeah. this gentleman, Chief Keatling, Jim Keatling from Kingsport Police Department. Morgan has been watching the whole parade over here in the corner. He's your average uh, man on the street. What do you think about it? Uh, it's, it's excellent. I got to be a judge for First American this uh, year, and it, it's tough judging. I bet. Had your usual bats, as uh, everybody should expect for this year. And, what was uh, the, the, your favorite? A, a basset hound with a fun fest shirt on. <laughs> Simple but great. That was a good one. But did you see the little kids on the tractor and, and with the, the chicken and the Chickens eggs? behind us. <laughs> I don't know if that one's gone by down at the platform yet. That is mine, my favorite one. That's the winner as far as I'm concerned. Good to have it's you out good. here today, buddy. But I see you brought that umbrella. I don't. You have to use forecast. It. <laughs> Too bad you weren't working for me today. You could be dealing with this. Well, I'm glad the this. heat was on you. <clears throat> Let's uh, talk about <laughs> Chief Keesling now. What do you have to say, sir? Well, I think it's wonderful. We have a crowd in the excess of 100,000 folks here this evening from all over the Tri-City area. Been one of the largest, best parades we've had. It's been a good day. The weather's held off. I told them not to have any rain today. Well, Francis did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you have any fun while you're working, though? Oh, well, I always have fun. You know that. I enjoy being with the people and enjoy the crowd. And it's nice just having folks in town. We enjoy people coming to Kingsport. Yeah, we sure do. Yep. We want everybody here that who can, who can come in. We're stacking them in deep. And you do? Get some clogging music. Yeah. <laughs> we can do a little clog, couldn't we? I did I, that on the telethon. It didn't go too well, though. Francis, Francis done well for us today. She didn't order any rain, so we've done well. well Everything went well. We had rain today. We had thunderstorms today, but I made them go away from I, the city. I know. I, I sent them away from I downtown. Helped, so this me being present now. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Okay. Thanks for Thank being Thank y'all. Thank y'all for doing and we're going to go back up to the platform with Betty and John. Okay, thanks, John. And is it my imagination, or is this crowd getting larger? <laughs> There's still people flowing by us walking up here to view it, and that's wonderful. Oh, Nas more ball players. Who are they? That's the Bloomingdale Recreation Astros. They are national champs, World Series champs, all decked out in their Astros uniforms. Followed by the Kingsport Animal Shelter. Everybody's got a cat or a dog. <laughs> I went to the shelter a couple of years ago and came back with three. I just was window shopping. <laughs> Some nice looking young animals there. I'll take that one. Everybody else has got something, I'll take an animal. Everyone just seems to be under control and well managed. I think we're going to go now for another commercial break, but we hope you'll stick around. Come back and join us for this year's 1989 Fun Fest Parade. A mother's job can be a tremendous task. We can't take life for granted. Heart problems can strike at any moment. It's nice to know that since 1979, Holston Valley Hospital has developed more modern means of diagnosis and treatment through its clinical cardiology and its two cardiac cath labs. And the cardiac surgery team has performed thousands of open heart surgery cases, saving lives throughout the region. Results. That's what makes the Holston Valley Cardiac Care Team special. Welcome back, everyone. And we're sitting here on the corner of Commerce and Center Street in downtown Kingsport as the Fun Fest Parade continues. And looking down Center Street, the entries just keep on coming. Oh, it's wonderful. Some youngsters there waving. 
That's a float with wings, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's the Times News. Times News entry. It looks like it's going to be in the crazy boat race. Fantastic flying fun shine. Fun ship, excuse me. Now that's a creative float. Yes, it is. We have a truckload of people here. The Kingsport Housing Authority. And that is. I wonder if they've taken a head count in that truck. <laughs> well, I don't know. You want to try to do it real quick? Uh... Short and tall. There they are. They found Jeff up in the vantage point, <laughs> high over Center Street. Oh, and here comes Warner Cable. With... And a special, special thank you to Warner Cable because Jeff Faust, who is about 30 or 40 feet up in the air, giving you that shot right there, is in a Warner Cable vehicle. We thank them very much for the use of one of their cherry pickers. And they have a very special friend right. in the parade with them this year. See if we can get a shot of him as he, well, he's on the other side of the truck. Maybe he'll come our direction here in just a second. Can we see him over there in the crowd, shaking hands? He's behind the truck. Behind the truck. There he is, Daffy Duck. Yes. OK, which one of you two does a good <laughs> Daffy Duck imitation? Not me. OK. Not me. We're glad Daffy could come out and join us this evening. And I think we're going to go down on Center Street now with Mark Wildman, who's standing by, I think, with some parade goers. Mark, who do you have down there? Thank you, Betty. Yeah, I'm out here on the main street of the parade, and one lady's just walking by handing out candy. May I please? There you go, Thank you. What's your name? Denise Miller. Yeah. You having a good time? Oh, yeah. Handing out lots of candy? Oh, yeah. All right, good time. <laughs> We're out here on the parade. I'm supposed to talk to some people that have been watching it, and joining me right now is... Heather. And... Jaina. You having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this fun every year, getting together and having the parade and fun fest? This is the first year I've been to the parade. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I bet there's been a lot of excitement then for yeah, you. Yeah, huh? a lot. What about you? Your first time? No, no, it's my first time. My little brother's in the band. Oh, is he yeah, really? Yeah. Did he play okay? Yeah, yeah, he played good. He plays the drums. <laughs> What's your favorite part of Fun Fest? Um, probably the beach party. The beach party? Yeah. Should have known. And you? Fireworks. The fireworks? Yeah. That's always a good time for me. <laughs> yeah. We're having a great time down here in the streets. They're handing out candy. I'm going to go over here to the side and enjoy a lollipop and talk some more with Heather and Jana. 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 <laughs> we'll get it together. We're having a good time. Fun Fest is great. I love this parade. Back to you, Betty. We're having fun up here, too, Mark. And grab us a handful of that candy. I'm getting kind of hungry up here. And we've got some, uh, what is this? These green balloons, green and white balloons. This is the Hills Just Say No Club. Hills Department Store do a great job in the Just Say No activities. Wonderful program going on across the country, Just Say No to Drugs. And of course, the Kingsport Fire Department we hear coming up Center Street now. What is it about the flashing red lights on a fire truck that just mesmerizes everyone? <laughs> I don't know. I love it. Looking at this float backward, I believe. I can't quite tell what it is. Well, it's tidal. Right. Paul, again, realizing you're not old enough necessarily to have seen an old cane mill, <laughs> but uh, what is an old cane mill? Well, you, if you got a cane, you put it in there. <laughs> Mills it up. It. Okay. Mill it. <laughs> Get with it, Tom. <laughs> I just want to check these things out, you know. I don't want to be left out. Big float from Shekinah. A lot more balloons. There can't be a balloon left in Kingsport. <laughs> They're all here tonight. Well, you can also tell how many Fun Fest shirts that have been on sale because <laughs> it's hard to believe there'd be more Fun Fest shots. shirts. Let's go back up uh, Center Street, up to Clay Street. We'll talk to Fran and John as they talk to more interesting people. We're having a good time up here at the beginning right. of the parade. You yes. come at the right time. You sure did. This is Fran and I's favorite, the belly dancer from the Jericho Temple Shriners. He's great. Watch him. <laughs> he wasn't in the parade last year. No, but, but he's, he is my favorite, and uh, he seems to draw quite a crowd with the Everybody with started the women, applauding especially. as soon as he came out. He's one of the faves every year. Now, I want to talk to Francis a second. I just found out that 
This is really special for Frances. She was about 21 or 22 years old before she saw her first parade. She was she was Children born alive. and raised in Forge Ridge, Tennessee, near Tazewell. So I know you're really excited. Well, Chris Slimp, who's also on our crew, is from Big Stone Gaffney. He he's talking to me earlier. He said, Fran, you and I didn't even see parades until we were grown up, did we? And I said, no, we didn't. That's true. I never saw a parade, I don't think, until I came to Kingsport, until I was a, a, an adult. So. So, so you are really actually enjoying and I, having a great time. I, be, I become like a kid every time there's a parade in town. You should go back and tell all your friends back at Forge Ridge to come to the Fun Fest. Absolutely. Of course, we could have a Forge Ridge Fun Fest. So you, you ran the mountains up there, too, didn't you? I heard. A ridge runner from long ago. How did we get into this? Well, anyway, the, the belly dancer is heading in your direction. Sure and is. Uh, I hope you have as much fun with him as we did. <laughs> belly dancer and then there's a lot more on behind him too we have oh gee i don't know i'd say probably another what two dozen at entries. least some Still baseball players coming I'm, up so just enjoy the parade a, a very long and parade we're gonna bring it back up to the platform with betty and tom okay thanks fran and john and we've got some music coming by now the short hills ramblers they call themselves the pickers and grinners they got the tennessee waltz going the youngster enjoys it. <laughs> Folks from the United Steelworkers Union. Well, there's your balloons again, Betty. More of them, more of them, more of them. I've decided they've had to import some of these <laughs> balloons. So. Now, there are some Fun Fest color yeah. balloons coming up. Classic car. Okay, what year is that? Are you asking me? Well, either one. <laughs> I'm going to pass that question to Paul. Is that a 55 Chevy? Okay, fine with me. It's close. It's I didn't red, know the answer. It's, I it's hope red, though. Oh, it's red. A we red got car. this. <laughs> Pretty red car. The color commentator comes through again. The crowd just keeps making its way into the street. Those are the Wildwood Dulcim Dulcimers. Dulcimers? Yeah. Lovely sounds. Look at this parade. Fun Fest definitely underway. I think we're going to go now for another commercial break, but we hope you'll stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. At Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center, we think when an accident occurs, it's important that the emergency medicine physician get all the pertinent facts. That takes teamwork, highly trained personnel working together with the most dependable equipment and materials readily at hand even down to the film we use for x-rays. Because when there's an emergency, at Holston Valley, we want our team to have the big picture. And we're back now, just in time to see probably one of the more interesting <laughs> entries in the parade, the AFG Vikings, I'm assuming. How, how about that for a river race entry? Oh, so that is a boat as well. Oh, yeah. it's got to be. That's kind of frightening. I'm glad I'm going to be on the sidelines tomorrow. I think we're going to run down to Clay Street right now and check in with Sonia McFarland to see what's happening down there. Sonia? Hi, Ben. We're going to do this quick. Last few entries are trickling down your way. It looks like the Fun Fest Parade is coming to an end. It's been great. The people down here have just talked about it and talked about it. They said that they love it and they're definitely gonna make it an annual event and come back next year. And some of them even are talking about ideas for next year for the entries. So the last ones are heading down your way and they should be your way any minute. It's been a great parade. We've had a great time down here. Thank you, okay. Betty. We are down here. It's our last time. We've grabbed a bunch of kids that have been standing around and having an absolutely great time. You having a good time? Yeah. You look like you got a bunch of stuff all over your face. What's been going on? Did you get some painting done? Yeah, it looks like yes. you've got some dirty shirts, and I understand that's from the pie-eating contest. Yeah. How'd you do? I won a lot. Looks you like you got more on you than in you. Uh, yeah. How was the pie? Uh, it was good, but cold. Cold. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. You enjoying the parade? Yeah. All right, thanks okay. a lot. Y'all finish enjoying the rest of the parade. Sarah, yeah. I've had a good time down here. Oh, I've had a wonderful time. I'm going to head over to the train station where the Metropolitan Blues All-Star Band is playing at 845. Going to be a I'm lot of time. Going to be a good time. That's going to okay. be for us. All right, back to you, Betty. Okay, I understand. 
Back to John and Francis. We are, we're stood down here at the intersection of Clay and Center Street. We have the Little Miss Fun Fest contestants with us now. This is Rebecca Lingerfeld. She was a 1988 Little Miss Fun Fest. Tomorrow, what happens? Well, they picked the new Little Miss Fun Fest. And you relinquish your title. Right. Have you had a good year? <laughs> yes. Good. So these are the contestants behind us. One of these little girls will end up tomorrow afternoon, the new 1989 Little Miss Fun Fest, and she will attend all the Fun Fest activities all week long, and I will be the MC for the for the uh, con contest, contest tomorrow afternoon. Now tell us a little bit what you, what you had to do so one of these girls will know what they have to do next year. Well, you go places and meet new people, and you go, you do things like... <laughs> <laughs> you go to lunches and dinners and stuff. You meet a lot of people, don't you? You go to, like, uh, Taste of Dry Cities and Ice Cream at Allendale, all the fun fest events. Right. Did you have a good time? Yes. Good. Great. The pageant tomorrow is at 3 p.m. at Dobbins Bennett Little Theater, and we hope everybody will come out to that. John? I think this is about it for us. I think it is. I've had a good time. And Me too. I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad you got to see the parade. <laughs> it has been wonderful. Thanks to all of Kingsport for coming out and supporting the 1989 Fun Fest Parade. Back to uh, Betty, Tom, and uh, Phil. I think that's Paul. We're back up here on the platform. Thanks, Fran. I think we're all having a good time here today. And sadly, the parade, I guess, is coming to an end. But it's been a lot of fun. And it looks like everyone who's been out here today has had a lot of fun. And Paul? I, surely the hospital has got to be pleased with the turnout, and uh, it's just been a successful event. It sure has. We appreciate everybody at uh, your station, WKPT, for such a professional job. This is first class. Every uh, every parade ought to have live coverage. We've got it, and uh, we can show folks in this region what can be done. I know it takes a lot of work to coordinate a parade like this, and the people at your hospital are to be commended for for getting it all together, and this is just a wonderful way to be kicking off Fun Fest here on the first day of a lot of activities and events coming up in the next week. This just sort of sets the stage for everything that's to come. Here comes a fella that's always one of my favorites every year. <laughs> that's not easy to do, the whole parade route. And Betty, you get to join him next year, I understand, as one of the uh, prerequisites in this job. So. Yeah, I'm going to get some lessons yeah. before uh, the 1990 Fun Fest Parade. First, the Shriners Band, and definitely crowd favorite. I was going to let you do the, the description of that particular, the dancer, to, so just to be safe on my end here. Uh. Some interesting movements. No so. doubt. The Jericho Oriental Band. That's the aerobic exercise program <laughs> for the Triners. And again, a, a, just a super way to kick off Fun Fest, too. You know, this is the, you got such a crowd down here. Had a great day with the Mardi Gras going on all day. and parade going on now is, is as you can see and it's just the fun fest beer is definitely here in 1989 there is no doubt about it floating ice cream cones coming by now and i bet they don't stop and get us any ice cream <laughs> either mark and sarah get candy we uh we get to watch it's fun i think we've had the best seat in the house that, no question another entry from arcade graphics followed by what must be some more Little Leaguers. Churchill Mount Carmel All-Stars, state runner-up, 1989. Awesome team, now. I would, either, either one of you want to venture to guess crowd size? No. Okay. It just keeps getting larger. Yes, I mean, where are these people coming from? It's WKPT Radio, our sister station. Martin Coran is in there. Janet Johnson inside the classic car. Two lovely ladies carrying the banner for him. There's the car. Little fun festival. 
again, thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's a, it's a wonderful show that Holston Valley puts on, and we sure are pleased and proud to be a part of it. Tom and Betty, we do thank you. It's uh, a great pleasure. I've had a ball. We've had great weather. The rain has held off. It's not been too hot. And there's a lot more to do all week. And again, there's more parades still rolling down through here. And we'll see it as we roll the credits. And it's, as we do roll the credits, a special thank you to the technical crew who's done such a great job of putting this on. And again, I want to say thank you to the folks at Holston Valley Hospital. Again, to Paul Bishop, to Gary Marler, and Barbara Guype who have done a great job, Jill Davenport as well, to help us out and, and keep this uh, Fun Fest event going good and strong. And uh, just, again, very, very pleased to be a part of it, Betty. I would dare say the parade will definitely be back next year. You bet. But it's the 10th year for the Fun Fest, and it'll be a special, special event. And again, we will be rebroadcasting this parade. It will be rebroadcast tomorrow, uh, or rather, excuse me, on Monday, the 31st, on Warner Cable Channel 19 at 8 o'clock. And the Crazy Boat Race, which will be broadcast live tomorrow afternoon from 12 to 1, will also be rebroadcast on Monday the 31st at 9 o'clock. So if you didn't set your recorders right to get it tonight, you can get it on Monday. Of course, we want to invite everyone to come out to the Crazy Boat Race tomorrow. Right, Newswatch uh, Bob Haywood and Bruce Barkley from our Newswatch sports staff will be there. And Tom, you'll be out there as well. Absolutely. Ready to watch everybody get wet. You're not riding in a boat. No, sir. No, I, I'll be standing on dry land quite uh, happily. Again, a great day, great first day of Fun Fest. There's more things going on tonight. The Blues Fest going on down at the train station. All sorts of things. Come out, enjoy a Fun Fest. As everybody can see, there's a great crowd, great participation. That's what Fun Fest is about. Get out, show your pride in the Kingsport community, and a uh, great night to kick it off here with the parade. One time of the year when the community definitely comes together just to have fun, spend some time with your friends and family and neighbors, and just come out and show your community spirit. More music coming up the street. Now this band knows how to do it. They're That's right. That's <laughs> right. Very good. Again, thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, Betty. Great evening. This has been the 1989 Fun Fest Parade from downtown Kingsport. I've been having chest pains all morning. Do you think I might be having a heart attack? Whenever I drink anything with caffeine in it, it seems to make my heart beat a lot faster than normal. Do you know anyone I can talk to to have this checked out? How much exercise do I really need to keep my heart in shape? When you have questions about health care, call someone who has free answers 24 hours a day. Hello, ask a nurse, may I help you? Ask a nurse at Holston Valley Hospital, 1-800-245-8544. The Fun Fest kickoff parade has been brought to you by Holston Valley Hospital and Medical Center in Tremendous WKPT TV 19. What if a bank offered to lend you $2,500 for two years free? The lines would be around the block. Well, that's exactly what Ball Brothers is doing. They'll lend you $2,500 or more free to buy the furniture you need with two years to pay it back with no finance charges. None. You can spend less than $2,500 and still save the finance charges. But hurry, it's now through Monday and it's just for you. $2,500 for two years free at Ball Brothers. I grew up in a small town, and the manager of our grocery store was like the food city managers around here. The best. Just look what they have for you this week. This week at Food City, get armor meat or beef slice bologna, 12 ounce package, one nineteen. Flavor rich ice cream, half gallon, assorted flavors, one fifty nine. Ziploc freezer bags, twenty count, quart size, one fifty nine. So come to the store with the best managers in the country. Come to the city, Food City. It's incredible. This week, New York Carpet World brings you a half-off sale no other store can match. Shop now and get labor and padding, both half off. That's right, installation half off and all the pads you need half off. What's more, you get these half-off savings with any carpet. And look at these sale bargains. Plushes and high lows, stain masters, Saxonies and Berbers, half-off labor and half-off pad with any carpet. No one else can bring you a half-off sale like this to Saturday at New York Carpet World.
Watch this. When you get your kid a McDonald's Happy Meal, he gets a Lego motion toy with moving parts, like this wind whirler. There are two sets each week, and with both, he can build something bigger. There are eight Lego sets in the hall, and the more sets he collects, the bigger toy he can build. And if you're lucky, they'll even let you play. Go for it. <laughs> What's that, Dad? I don't know, but I built it, and I love it. Lego Motion Happy Meal at McDonald's. Sometimes things that look alike are really very different. Both Little Mousies have cheese sandwiches, but Jan's tastes much better because it's got Kraft Singles made from five ounces of milk per slice. Fred's sandwich has imitation slices. They're made from mostly oil and water. So remember, just because things look alike doesn't mean they are. Kraft Singles. Milk makes them better. Saturday, before Field of Dreams and the Natural, there was Pete Gray. Based on a man's true story and the lives that he touched, Keith Carradine and Mayor Winningham star in A Winner Never Quits, an ABC movie special. Then, clear the streets, because Avery Brooks is back in action, and he's got some guys scared stiff on a man called Hawk. For transcript of this program, please send $4 to 2020 Transcripts. Journal Graphics, 267 Broadway, New York, New York, 1007. This is 2020. This has been a presentation of ABC News, where more Americans get their news than from any other source. This is ABC. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Wildman. News Watch is live on the road at the Fun Fest Midnight Five Miler. All the day's news is next on News Watch Nightside. Please join us. Bristol Regional Medical Center has delivered thousands of healthy babies, but for many couples, infertility has robbed them of this joy. Experienced specialists like Dr. Pickens Scant and Dr. Gary Randall are committed to helping these people. Using innovative techniques like laser surgery, ultrasound, and in vitro fertilization, they're giving these couples a second chance at life's greatest miracle. The Fertility Center at Bristol Regional Medical Center. Another reason the best is right here. Listen to the scissors Cutting all around and around and around Don't you love the sound of a price coming down? This week at your Tri-Cities Kroger store, save on Kroger Great A Large Eggs, only 29 cents a dozen. And famous West Side California cantaloupes are only 69 cents each. This is WKPT Television's News Watch Nightside. Many in Northeast Tennessee count down the days until Fun Fest. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Wildman. And I'm Sarah Poe. Thanks for being with us. We're here live on Eastman Road at First Tennessee Bay. Fun Fest officially got underway this afternoon with Mardi Gras and then earlier tonight with parade through downtown Kingsport. Tonight, it's the Midnight Five Miler. More than 800 runners and joggers are set to run in the darkness. It's sponsored by Walker Athletics and First Tennessee Bank. We'll have a look at today's festivities and tonight's run through later, but first, a look at today's news. In Morristown today, Governor Nebuchadnezzar says Northeast Tennessee will have a farmer's market, but only under certain guidelines. Order says before construction begins, a plan of operation must be formed to ensure a farmer's market can be supported by the local economy. $40 million worth of produce is grown here in Tennessee each year, but farmers say there is not an agricultural center to properly ship the produce. Order says with proper organization, a farmer's market would succeed here in Northeast Tennessee. We're told that the Asheville market uh, I'm opposed to using taxpayers' dollars to compete with the private sector, private capital. Uh, at the same time, we need the private sector involved as commercial shippers and uh, 
uh, in a market. The McWhorter administration has already appropriated $2.5 million for the project with a possible location in Jefferson County. The farmer's market would serve 14 northeast Tennessee counties. In Washington, President Bush met with reporters this afternoon. He said he expects to prevail by the time Congress finishes work on the defense budget. He also expects to win the fight over the SNL crisis. Bob Clark was on hand for the fireworks today. I think the Congress has been... The president has been taking his licks lately from the Democratic Congress. He used his press conference today to give some back when he was asked about his troubles with Congress. So I would not give Congress very high marks on doing what I want done on legislation. The president criticized the House for making deep cuts in his defense program. The cutbacks, he complained, could hurt prospects for achieving more arms reduction. But I do not want to negotiate with the Soviet Union without as many cards in my hand as possible, so there's an arms control dimension to what we're talking about, too. The president expressed confidence the Senate will restore most of the defense cuts made by the House. His temper flared as he defended William Lucas, his embattled nominee to the top civil rights post in his administration. I strongly support Bill Lucas. I am convinced that much, not all, but much of the criticism of him is pure gut American politics. And it started long before day one of the hearings. The president also expressed displeasure at the way the case against Felix Block, the career diplomat suspected of espionage, has been handled. I am very disturbed about the premature uh, discussion and disclosure, that, that means leaks uh, on this matter. At other points, the president pulled back from harsh criticism of political foes. He's never been one, he said, to go in for name calling. Bob Clark, ABC News, the White House. In other national news today, a House subcommittee got an update on the cleanup of the oil spill in Alaska. Exxon President William Stevens told a congressional committee his company has no intentions of abandoning Alaska in the fall. He referred to a memo from an Exxon official earlier in the week that said the oil spill cleanup would stop in mid-September. Now, admittedly, in retrospect, the wording in Mr. Harrison's memo was unfortunate. What we're doing every day in terms of the operation up there would say that we will follow through, as I said earlier, in terms of our commitment to get the job done right. A congressional subcommittee is continuing its investigation into wrongdoing at the Department of Housing and Urban Development. At hearings today, the House Government Operations Subcommittees was informed that Lance Wilson, a former HUD executive, will not appear before the panel. Committee Chairman Tom Lantos opened the hearings by announcing a vote will be taken on subpoenas for Wilson and his records. To ensure that Mr. Wilson subsequently does appear before the subcommittee, this coming Wednesday, the subcommittee will vote on issuing a subpoena for Mr. Wilson's appearance before the subcommittee on Wednesday, September 27. Stand by. Wilson is a former executive assistant to former HUD Secretary Samuel Pierce. Overseas, it rained bombs in Beirut overnight as Syrian and Christian forces battled the Lebanese capital with shells and rockets. Police report at least 13 people lost their lives. One rocket even devastated the top floor of the building housing the offices of the Associated Press as well as CBS and NBC. After today's firepower, Shiite Muslim leader Abdul Karim Obeid was reportedly kidnapped. The reputed spiritual leader of the Hezbollah militia was taken from his apartment shortly after dawn. The State Department announced later the United States had nothing to do with the kidnapping. Back home, authorities in Carter County are still searching for clues surrounding skeletal remains found yesterday. Today, they got assistance from the state and the TBI. Forensic anthropologist from the University of Tennessee joined the Carter County Sheriff's Department and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation today to begin the search for answers. Yesterday, a logger working in the Stony Creek section of Carter County stumbled upon the skeletal remains of what is presumed to be an elderly male. What we have to do is take the bones back to our lab and then we clean them up and have a look at them and prepare them with samples we already have. 
and from that we can get a little bit better age estimate on them. Exactly how long the body has been in the woods has not been determined and neither has a cause of death. All that remains from the years of decay were the victim's boots, belt, and a nearly intact skeletal frame. Well, the first step we have to do is identify the uh, deceased. Mm -hmm. uh, identify the deceased and then determine why he was in this area, uh, if he was from this area. And from the identity, then we can determine whether this will be a criminal investigation. We do have uh, missing persons uh, file with the uh, department from time to time. We can go back over those and try and uh, make a match to this particular person. Authorities say it will still be several weeks until further information is available. Well, it has been an absolutely glorious day here in northeast Tennessee. Francis Eden did a great job of keeping all the rain and the thunder showers away for the parade tonight. Francis is standing by with the forecast for tonight. Francis? Thank you, Mark. I really appreciate that compliment. So many people have said the same thing to me this evening. Fran, you did a great job with the rain today. It did rain around some of the area. Most of the showers bypassed a downtown Kingsport, but we have another round of thunderstorms on the way tomorrow. I'll have a complete look at the weather forecast for you after this. Hello, Andy. Well, it's just terrible. Anderson Ford is selling new cars and trucks at ridiculous prices. Well, just look. This 1989 Escort Pony with these standard features is just $64.95. The 89 Tempo with air, tilt wheel, AM FM stereo, and power door locks for just $92.88. Or the new Ford Ranger S, the number one selling compact truck in America for only $72.99. These prices good through Saturday only, so hurry to Anderson Ford, Lynn Garden Drive, Kingsport. It's incredible. This week, New York Carpet World brings you a half-off sale no other store can match. Shop now and get labor and padding, both half-off. That's right, installation half-off and all the pad you need half-off. What's more, you get these half-off savings with any carpet. And look at these sale bargains. Plushes and high lows, stain masters, Saxonies and Berbers, half-off labor and half-off pad with any carpet. No one else can bring you a half-off sale like this. To Saturday at New York Carpet World. There's a spa that's made for every part of you. A hot spring portable spa made to massage your feet, your legs, and made to soothe your back with an automatic back rub like no other spa. And hot spring is the most reliable name in spas, which will ease another part of you, your mind. So before you buy a spa, test a hot spring spa. The smart choice. Villain Enterprises, the real pool and spa people. Finding just the right family car can be a challenge. But consider this. The Mazda 626 has more standard features than a Honda Accord. Its no-deductible bumper-to-bumper warranty is unequal. The 626 is not only hundreds less than Accord, but right now you also get $750 cash back. And it's so much fun to drive, you could almost forget it's a family car. Well, almost. See Anderson Imports in Kingsport, Classic Motors in Johnson City, and Volunteer Mazda in Bristol. France forecast is certified by the National Weather Association. Well, fortunately, most of the humidity is beginning to calm down now, so the runners tonight shouldn't have it uh, too bad as far as heat and humidity goes. A uh, cool breeze also blowing. It'll be pretty nice this evening. As for the area now, most of the area is seeing uh, just cloudy skies. No reports of, of uh, major storms anywhere around the area. Maybe a few sprinkles of rain uh, here and there, depending on where you live, but nothing too severe at this hour. Asheville is looking at 73 degrees, uh, mostly cloudy. Cloudy also in Knoxville at 78. London Corbin, Kentucky has a 74. Up in Roanoke, Virginia, 73 and uh, 73 is also the current reading out at the National Weather Service office at Tri-Cities Airport. We were up to a high this afternoon of 86. The low last night was 67. That's about normal for this time of year, actually. We picked up five hundredths of an inch of rainfall in the past 24 hours. Humidity, of course, I've been uh, talking about that just about every day this week. It's been incredibly high. Now it's 72 percent, but again, there's a breeze blowing out of the north. Winds are about 14 miles per hour, so that's making it feel really more comfortable than it would if we had no winds. 
As for the nation this evening, uh, clouds, uh, of course, across much of the Tennessee Valley and, and uh, across much of the southeast, but these are just heat clouds as a result of the heat and the humidity. On the map this evening, we are still influenced by high pressure, believe it or not. It's that Bermuda high that I've been talking about all week. Still pumping in a lot of tropical moisture across most of Dixie, so we've seen muggy conditions not only here in the Tennessee Valley, but down uh, in Georgia and Florida also. There is a cold front dipping down. Now, it's rather weak, but it will be close enough to us to uh, continue to give us a, a threat of showers in the afternoon. You know, the hot temperatures in advance of the system, plus, plus the colder air behind it, when the two get together, they form some pretty severe thunderstorm activity. So we're looking for another round of that by tomorrow tomorrow morning. We should wake up to sunshine. I think it's going to be a pretty nice uh, when we uh, start into the crazy boat race around 12 o'clock tomorrow. Looking pretty good throughout much of the day. Again by afternoon though on the afternoon map we'll start to see clouds beginning to drift back up out of the south uh, coming back up into the Tennessee Valley. Heavier storms will be centered along the low pressure system across the plains up in that area tonight. They've had some really rough weather with numerous reports of uh, power lines down and trees down and things like that. Just uh, basic good old summertime weather tonight in northeast Tennessee. Uh, we're just calling for partly cloudy skies. I'm going to take uh, most of the rain out of the forecast. I think the thunderstorms are over for this evening. Low temperatures will be from 65 to 70. Tomorrow, uh, partly sunny throughout the day. Hazy, hot, humid. High readings from 85 to 90 degrees. And again, thunderstorms likely by afternoon. For southwest Virginia, you'll see some patchy fog later on tonight with partly cloudy skies. Your lows should be from 60 to 65. And tomorrow, a day just like today. High temperatures uh, from 80 to 85 and partly sunny. For the end of rest of the weekend, for the first part of the week, it doesn't change a whole lot. We will still see uh, basically partly sunny conditions and temperatures, uh, again, about normal for this time of year. Highs of 88 and lows of 68 degrees. It's very nice to have the, the 11 o'clock show out on the road for a change. Don't you think so, Mark? I really think so. It's a good time for us to get out and see everybody, and there's a lot of people sitting around getting ready to run. It's good news that they'll have some nice weather to run but in. The only problem that I'm having with it was, is with the lights out here and the heat and everything. There are a lot of bugs floating around. Have you swallowed <laughs> one yet? <laughs> Tell everybody to run with their mouth closed tonight. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks, Fran. Sure. Nearly 1,000 men and women are limbering up for tonight's five-miler. And if you feel the urge to burn some calories, come on down and join the fun. It's yeah. not too late to register. Please stay with us tonight. News Watch Nightside continues live on the road from Budfest. Step into Bill Gatton Han and immediately you'll know that something very exciting is going on. Long stem roses for our lady customers. Formal attire for the salesman. Delicious refreshments. All this and more during Bill Gatton's Run for the Roses, our biggest savings event of the year. Save up to $1,000 on Civics. Save up to $1,500 on Accords. Save up to $2,000 on Preludes. All colors, all models, all discounted and ready for immediate delivery. Bill Gatton Honda's Run for the Roses. I guarantee you'll find blooming bargains everywhere you look. You spend approximately one-third of your life in bed. Don't you deserve the most comfortable mattress made? Since 1938, Brothers Bedding has made a commitment to making the most comfortable mattress at the lowest possible price. Here at the factory, our mattress makers take great pride in making your new mattress. We can deliver right away, and we will haul off that old mattress for you. We're located at 1159 North Eastman Road in the Green Acre Shopping Center. Come by and see us. Let me give you a couple trading tips. First, don't buy straw hats in the summer. That's when demand is greatest and prices are highest. Now that same thinking is true when buying four wheel drive vehicles. Don't buy them in the winter, buy them in the summer when prices are lowest. And boy are they low here at Bill Gatney Zuzu. Trooper 2's now only $12,988 and his Zuzu four wheel drive pickups reduced to just $99.88. Take a test drive and I'll give you a straw hat. I got a good deal. I bought them last winter. Many of the more than 100 people injured in last week's crash in Sioux City, Iowa are still being treated for injuries. Today, the flight attendants aboard Flight 232 held an emotional news conference after being released from area hospitals. ABC's Bud Fotopoulos was there. 232's flight attendants, who share heroes' roles with the cockpit crew, received a standing ovation from their colleagues as they arrived at this morning's news conference. Their stories of what happened in the terror-filled minutes before the crash and what happened after it were packed with emotion. This appeared to be like a uh, roller coaster ride with special effects. Yes, we were flipping over and 
debris flying everywhere and light shining in blinding light. And I said, are we alive? Are we alive? Because it was such a euphoric feeling after that 44 minutes and the impact. I couldn't believe I was alive. You know, I really thought that I was not. Janice Brown was the senior attendant on the flight. She forced herself to be calm. My hand might have betrayed me momentarily, but I willed it to be still. You can't stand and hold a PA mic in front of a group of passengers and do this and try to say, stay calm. Donna McGrady fought back tears as she described the moments after impact. And to look and see nothing but, but debris. Sorry. We saw nothing, and I said, oh, God. Where is the other part of the aircraft? <laughs> Although praised by their colleagues and happy to be alive, Susan White expressed a feeling common to all the survivors. Feeling the um, guilt that I'm here and all the other people didn't make. Bud Fotopoulos, ABC News, Chicago. Another murder in Greenville last night, this time a stabbing. 24-year-old Linda Marie Barner was arrested and charged with the stabbing death of her ex-husband shortly after 11 o'clock in Greenville last night. The victim, 33-year-old Hugh Barner, was stabbed once in the back. After Barner was stabbed, he drove himself to Laughlin Memorial Hospital where he died. Warrants for her for felonious assault with intent to commit murder. Then later on, there the uh, Hugh Lee Barner died, and as a result of that, they changed the warrant to first-degree murder. No motive has been established for the murder. Barter was arraigned this morning and faces a preliminary hearing on August 23rd. It is a great night for everybody to be involved in the Midnight Five Miler. Bruce Barkley is here for sports. And you're going to give us a preview of Absolutely. tonight's race. Absolutely. I feel real honored they're doing this whole newscast just for sports tonight. That's great. Yes, That's sir. fantastic. Big crash today at Talladega. We're going to have highlights. Plus more on that Midnight Five Miler coming up. Step into Bill Gatton Hahn and immediately you'll know that something very exciting is going on. Long stem roses for our lady customers, formal attire for the salesman, delicious refreshments. All this and more during Bill Gatton's Run for the Roses, our biggest savings event of the year. Save up to $1,000 on Civics, save up to $1,500 on Accords, save up to $2,000 on Preludes. All colors, all models, all discounted and ready for immediate delivery. Bill Gatton Hahn is Run for the Roses. I guarantee you'll find blooming bargains everywhere you look. This summer, savor every delicious moment, because these are the good old days, and good old-fashioned lemonade was never better than this. Country Time Lemonade-flavored drink mix. Not too tart, not too sweet. Country Time, because these are the good old days. These are the good old days. HCA Indian Pass Pavilion, this is Pat. May I help you? Yes, I need to talk. T I don't, I haven't been sleeping or eating. I'm so depressed all the time. I can't stop crying. I just, I, I think, help me. There's help. There's hope oh, for people like you. If you care, call I'm now. Scared. We'll be there. HCA, Indian Path Pavilion. This is Pat. May I help you? They're coming from Kentucky, they're coming from Alabama, they're coming to Wild Bill's truck a -rama. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks. Chevys, Isuzu, Suzuki's, even used trucks. And they have one thing in common. Prices that have been cut, slashed, whittled down to the nub. No one ever beats Wild Bill's truck prices, but during our truck a -rama, you'll save even more. Wow, I just came in to use a telephone. Now I'm driving home in this new S10. Wow, what a deal! Trucks, trucks, trucks at Wild Bill's truck a -rama here at the Chevy store on State Street. Big wreck at Talladega in practice today. Four racers will be forced to drive different cars in Sunday's Die Hard 500. They'll have to start from the back of the pack. Bobby Hillen lost his 14th starting position after he was caught up in a wreck with Brett Bedine, Larry Pearson, and Dale Jarrett. 
all the drivers are expected to still race on Sunday. Today's top qualifier was Jimmy Means. He was supposed to start 21st, but the crash bumped him up to 18th. Rest of the field looks like this. Phil Barkdahl, Derek Koch, Neil Bonnet, A.J. Foyt, Joe Rutman, Ricky Rudd, Dave Marcus, Richard Petty, and Dick Trickle. Jeff Bodine, Jimmy Spencer, Bill Ingram, Mark Stahl, and then Stan Barrett, Ernie Irvin, Mickey Gibbs, Australian Dick Johnson, Patty Moise, and Rick Mass with a provisional start. The four drivers bump to the back start like this. Bobby Hill and Larry Pearson, Brett Bodine, and Dale Jarrett. Time now for the highlight of our work week. It's Bob Haywood's Fun Fest for the World of Sports. Here's the Freaks of the Week. We begin the Freaks of the Week with a new twist to the old hidden ball trick. Von Hayes drove it deep to right field, and Hubie Brooks doesn't have a clue. Where did it go? Rip down that banner. It's on the Freaks of the Week, Hubie. Jody Reed had a heap of trouble with George Brett's pop fly. Pat Tabler is usually the designated hitter. Here's why. Playing left field for the injured Bo Jackson, Tabler looked lost, and Bo got a good laugh. Toronto's junior Felix lost that ball in the swamp, but Luis Colonia had the toughest week of all. He was afraid of that ball and came up short on that sliding attempt. We featured many horrible national anthems on the Freaks of the Week. Even though his teammates laughed, the Cubs' Dwight Smith belted out a good one. And the rock is red glare, the bombs bursting. Spectacular play. Detroit's Gary Pettis goes behind the fence to rob Brian Downing of a homer. Former heavyweight champ Larry Holmes is back on the Freaks of the Week. Listen, people, I'm Larry Holmes. I'm not in the ring, so I'm going to do you a pose. Time to say goodbye, and we'll see you next time on the Freaks of the Week. Well, we all enjoyed the Mardi Gras earlier on today. My favorite, the watermelon seed spitting contest. And as you're about to see, I was not alone. For my money, the best part of Fun Fest is the chance to spit in public. The watermelon seed spitting contest grabbed its share of the Mardi Gras spotlight today. The 8 to 11 year old division ended in a tie. So the judges said, let's have a spit off. Yeah. Richard Maynor won with a spit of 19 and a half feet. You're going against other people. Yeah. And they might beat you, so you just got to try. Ricky Blevins picked up the adult honor, sending his seed a whopping 30 feet. Well, I'm in the Army. I'm stationed Fort Drum. I come in on leave, and they, she talked me into trying this today, so I thought I'd give it a try. Are you proud of your dad? Uh-huh. Well, there may have been three first-place blue ribbon seed-spitting winners, but I might be the real winner because they only used half a watermelon to get all those seeds, and I got the rest. See you later. And the whole reason we're out here is for the midnight five miler, and we're lucky enough to have one of our own, John Cleary, 530 co anchor. I don't know if it's lucky or not, Bruce. But, uh, John's going to be racing in this one. How many has it been for you, John? This will be about the sixth, I guess. And have you made it through all of them? I finish. I finish. Uh, usually the day after tomorrow. But I'll tell you what, you, you guys are broadcasting the crazy boat race tomorrow, right? Right. Okay. If I'm not back, by 12.30, you have the cameras rolling, and I'll finish the finish line up there tomorrow. Then. John, actually, you finished pretty well last year. Pretty good. 70. 76, I guess. Out of 700 or so. But yeah. I usually pass the finish finisher about Krispy Kreme, I guess, as I'm heading down towards the third circle. John, we have a special surprise for you. John's been working out real hard for this, and he's really gotten his body into good shape. And Dane, back at the station, you have a picture of him with his shirt off today. John is looking good. 
I've put on a few pounds since then, but I want to I think that's fantastic, job. John. You're, you're real good. <laughs> We're going to follow you around the track tonight, John, Okay. and root you on. All right. I want everybody to know the, the race is about to start in about 35 minutes. <laughs> Come down here and root John on. Back to you, Mark and Sarah. <laughs> I think the odds on John just went way down after that picture. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Thanks well, a lot, Bruce. Well, the hustle and bustle surrounding tonight's race is getting in full gear. Stay with us. Newswatch Nightside, live on the road, continues from Fun Fest in just a minute. The switch is on to full-size Chevy trucks at your Mountain Empire Chevy dealers. The Chevy truck has new styling. The Ford just looks the same. I switched. Chevy's got more power. The switch is on to Chevy S10. I switched for the price. The S10 pickup was hundreds less than the Ford. Make your switch now and get $500 cash back or a no-charge automatic transmission on Chevy full-size pickup. Chevy's taking on Ford and polishing them off at your Mountain Empire Chevy dealer. It was really the best choice. Citizens Union Bank and you, together for generations past and those yet to come. Grindstaff! It's a used car blowout! Grindstaff Super Sellathon was so successful, we're overrun with trade-ins, and we gotta sell them at any price. That's straight talk, straight from the boss. Many of these used cars are priced at wholesale, some below wholesale. No reasonable offer reviews. I'm Steve Grindstaff. And I guarantee it. Shop our new hours, 8 a.m. till midnight, Monday through Saturday, Sunday, 1 till 6. It's Grindstaff's used car blowout. And we're blowing the competition away. Grindstaff Chevrolet Chrysler Plymouth Dodge. We take you now to one of Virginia's most unusual attractions. No, it's not a theme park nor a festival, but it's a nudist colony. Whitetail Nudist Camp is Virginia's only camp where visitors play golf, tennis, swim, and relax in the buff. The camp is playing host this year to the American Sunbathing Association's East Coast Convention, where more than 1,500 people and 3,000 buns from New York to Florida are expected to grin and bear it. The fun of uh, sun and water without being restricted by a bathing suit. Whitetail Camp is also for the four-legged nudist enthusiast, who the owner says wears more clothes than she does. <laughs> uh, what a story. <laughs> there you have it. For those who like it. That's right. That's going to do it for this edition of Newswatch. Thanks for joining us live on the road. Be sure to join us all next week with WKPT Newswatch. We'll be here for all the fun associated with Fun Fest. Have a great weekend. Josh Gibson, Cool Papa Bell, Jimmy Crutchfield, some of the finest ball players ever to step on a diamond. Go, 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 no man, go, 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 make an old man go, 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 with the beat man go, 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 watch him go, man go, 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 that's a swing and break. But they never played in the major leagues. It was another era. The ball was white. They weren't. I was playing with and against the best ball players in the world. They just happened to be black. And it didn't say Major League. It said Negro American League. Good evening. I'm Forrest Sawyer. Whoa, hop, tick, tock, be bop. Shake, 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 shake
Mishima. is an electroencephalographic technologist. What? what? <laughs> hey, Lisa, what's up? We're out of corn pops. Sorry. That's okay. My own sister, you ate all my Kellogg's corn pops. Stay calm. I'll just get something else. We're supposed to share and look at you. Where's Mom? Oh, Mom, that pops taste like sweet popcorn. You always want more. And you, you little goober, ain't the last ball. Hey, guys. Oh, corn pops. That's a good idea. Kellogg's Corn Pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Stay tuned. Look. Animals on Animal Crack with host A. A beautiful woman with deadly powers wants MacGyver. And Tuesday, Tony thinks his golf partner would make a good twosome with Angela on Who's the Boss? Then Kevin meets his dream girl on The Wonder Years. To look at her, you'd never know it. But this little girl has a savings account that's working, even though she's not. For generations, Heritage Federal has helped people get the most for their money by offering an array of services like savings plans and certificates of deposit, checking accounts, retirement plans, and a variety of trust services. Heritage Federal wants to help you reach your goals, whatever they may be. Come by, talk to us, and let us put your money to work for you. Heritage Federal, our heritage is helping. We preempt our regular programming to bring you the following special Fun Fest Live presentation. This live telecast of the 1989 Heritage Federal Crazy Boat Race from Riverfront Park in Kingsport is being brought to you by Heritage Federal Savings and Loan. Our heritage is helping. And by Tremendous WKPT TV 19. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our live coverage of the Heritage Federal Fun Fest Crazy Boat Race. I'm Bob Haywood, along with Tom Thropp and Bruce Barkley. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The Holston River is raging, and the people have come out to see it. No question, Bob. There's a great crowd all up and down the Holston River, both participating behind us and the boats getting ready to go in. And spectator-wise, there's a great crowd out here, and it's going to be quite an exciting day. Bruce? Bob and Tom, I'm out here in what you would call the dry docks. Uh, this is the area where all the boats are waiting to go in the water. I'm going to bring you uh, interviews with the people that have put these boats together, some of the award winners and some of the ones who are just here for fun. But we're going to talk with them all. Back to you, Bob and Tom. Well, the boats are just about ready to uh, get into the water. And as you can see, the Heritage Federal boat already in. Uh, we'll have several categories, the crazy boat the crazy showboat open, the crazy paddleboat small category, the crazy paddleboat large, the crazy riverboat small. <laughs> All you know, crazy, right? That's... Yes. They just have to be crazy. It doesn't matter, <laughs> matter about anything else. The crazy riverboat large, the crazy speed boat open, the rubber raft open, the crazy paddleboat small, the crazy paddleboat large, the crazy showboat. Uh, all sorts of things. The crazy riverboat small, the crazy riverboat large, the speedboat open, rubber raft, and the tube train. The proverbial tube train. Yes. That's, uh, as you see right now on your screen, you've got a group from AFG. This is a boat called the Glassmaker, and this is one for speed, folks. They're going to go down there in a crewing type of skull, I guess, whatever, Bob, and uh, much like you would see in the Olympics and if you're in the Ivy League schools. And these guys are going for speed. They're going to try to set a record out here on the river today, which is up and raging. 
One of the fun parts about this boat race, Bob, is the fact that the boats don't always go forwards. They get spinning around, as we'll see. This boat should go forward. If it doesn't, they've got a definite problem. Somebody's not pulling their weight. Yeah, these, these guys in the speedboat category have been practicing, I'm sure, for weeks and everything. But uh, we know from firsthand experience <laughs> that uh, sometimes uh, when these boats get in the water, they don't exactly do what they're supposed to do. And no, they don't. I can remember... Uh, tasting the bottom of the Holston River about, about three years ago. <laughs> it was an adventure, and that's what uh, these people are out here for. It's uh, This is the eighth annual Crazy Boat Race. Of course, last year we were not able to have a Crazy Boat Race because of the drought situation. They had the Crazy Duck Race. But uh, Heritage Federal is right back here again this year with the eighth annual Crazy Boat Race as the AFG boat is getting ready to head down the water, getting set up to go. There'll be stopwatches here at the start, coordinating with stopwatches at the end of the race, which is down on the Netherlands Inn boat dock, Bob. And uh, we'll find out what their time is here in a bit. And we see the, this boat is now off, as you can see. And uh, there's still plenty of time to, to get down here. The crowds are here, but the traffic's not too bad. So come on down and join us, and uh, we'll be back right after this. Financial security. It doesn't come without sacrifice and hard work. At Heritage Federal, we've developed a framework for financial security and peace of mind. It's called the Freedom Plan with trust services, certificates of deposit, safe deposit boxes, direct deposit, checking accounts, traveler's checks, and mail transactions. It's time to reward yourself for all the hard work and sacrifice. Heritage Federal. Come talk to us about your financial...